and I'm waiting on the notification. I always get on my phone and and we are live. I want to thank everyone for turning into a very special edition of Off the Record, the People's Podcast this evening. We have a great guest, an illustrious guest and a good brother and an uncle uh, to me, but just a brother to many of us, always very humble. And um, this is not something that he does. So I'm very <laughs> honored that you would take time out of your busy schedule and uh, have a conversation with us today. Uh, Salaam alaikum, Brother Bashir. Wa alaikum salam. Ramadan Mubari. Ramadan Kareem, sir. Thank you very much for coming on, yeah. sir. Yes, um, sir. My next, well, my first question is, first of all, my sister Miriam says, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, sister Ramadan Mubari. Yes, sir. Okay, Ramadan Kareem. Okay, my next question, my first question, Brother Bashir, let's get straight into it. Um, when did you first hear the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad? Well, brother, I like to say, first of all, brother, uh, in the name of Allah, who came the person of Master Farad Muhammad, to whom praise it due forever, and forever raising one, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and leaving a divine reminder in our midst today, the Most Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. You know, I always like to greet your listening audience, your viewing audience, and the greeting words of peace and paradise of Asalaamu Alaikum. Because this is a great moment, brother. I just want to say uh, that you have been asking me, brother, for, believe it or not, I pulled my notes and I told you I didn't want to say it to you in yes, private, sir. but I want to say it. You asked me in April 2017. Yes, sir. Which yes, was sir. Three years ago, you've yes, been sir. asking me and being very persistent to get an interview of myself as you have done many before me, uh, uh, different believers, different icons and uh, anchors uh, in our nation. And I take it not lightly to be before you as a young brother, to be an example of one of the elders in, uh, 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 in our nation, to be having this privilege to come before you and ask some of the answer, some of the questions that you may want to ask but I always have to say, God, as my dad said, but for God and his messenger, uh, I wouldn't have this opportunity from Master Farad Muhammad, the humble Elijah Muhammad, and the messenger. And that leads us into your to your question. Yes, sir. Uh, when we came into uh, when I came into the nation, well, brother, I, I would say we came in the nation. I'm a third generation. Okay. Saying yes, that my grandparents were in the nation, my mother and father. Uh, on my side and uh, hmm. on my father's side, grandparents and um, uh, myself making the third generation. You know, we were lived in a city called Pomona, a little small city in, in Pomona in the, in the early 60s. Hmm. And in the early 60s, you know, the white man is the enemy and he does the works of the enemy. Yes, sir. Uh, we called him in a much more stronger terms then. <laughs> yes, As we had been taught by the most humble men to look for our kind, we, we changed that terminology for the graphic and gathering our people. Yes, but sir. at that particular time, um, my mother was nine months pregnant with uh, her, I want to say her eighth child. And the meter man came to read, and all this is related to the nation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, you know, um, the meter man came to read the water meter, the gas meter, and he stuck his hand over the gate. We had a, a, a pet named um, Christy at that time, a German shepherd. Yes, sir. And she bit the meter man because he stuck his hand over the gate. Mm. Make a long story short, the police officer came back, gave my mother a ticket. Um, the ticket, because she was pregnant at the time, she did not appear on the ticket in a timely fashion. Ticket went into as we all know, non-appearance becomes a, a, a warrant. Yes, sir. Back in those days, in the early 60s and late 60s, they come to your house. They mm. didn't pull you over, they come to your house. So mm, mm. they came to my parents' house, knocking on the door very early in the morning, uh, looking for my mother. And mm. I never forget, not my, I'm about seven years old and, uh, we're hearing the police banging on the door. 
you know? And my dad saying, oh, just a moment, we'll, we'll, we'll open the door one, one moment. And before you knew it, they had just kicked the whole door off the hinges. Mm. I mean, it was, we're looking through the hallway as, a, as our home was set up. We have a long hallway to the front door. We're looking down the hallway. We're looking at all these um, uh, police officers coming in the door and they just suddenly just start beating my father down. I'm talking about beating him with nightclubs and things. And for me as a little boy and my brothers and sisters to see this, man, you know, uh, we're frightened. And uh, man, uh, they beat my father down to the point where they got him into a hog tie position where his handcuffed with his, le- his ankles and his legs and, and they carry him out the front door. So my mom comes out the room and she has a weapon that was in the home and more peace officers came down the hallway and in that process, they disarmed her. But in the process of disarming her, they hit her in her abdomen where she was uh, carrying our, uh, our brother. Mm. They took my mother and my father to jail at that particular time. We had in a military mindset, my dad has always been, we climbed out the back window and jumped the fence and went to our grandmother's house, all six of us. And um, at that particular time, uh, they took my mother and father to jail and uh, my mother ultimately lost that child due to that battle. Um, but good came out of it because yes, about a week later, the Muslim brothers knocked on the door of my parents' house after the enemy had left there my father got introduced to the, uh, the nation of Islam. Wow, wow. And from that point uh, in the uh, late 1960s, my parents joined the nation of Islam. My father began to soldier and my father's mother uh, began to love the teachings too because she saw the, the, the difference in my father. Even though my father was not a, a, a wild person, my father's always been a mighty, intelligent individual. Um, you know, she saw the change of my father. So she became uh, a member of the Nation of Islam, which my grandmother and grandfather on my father's side became members of the nation. And that's how I become third generation. Yes, not sir. that my grandmother and grandfather accepted first, but that's how the journey of my family took place and coming into the nation. Uh, so that, that's how the birth of this nation got started. Beautiful, and praise be to Allah. And thank you very much for uh, your honesty and transparency. My sister yes, Naima says, Assalamu uh, alaikum. Brother Gerald says, Brother Bashir taught him everything in construction. Brother Ronald says, P-Town. Brother Harold B says, love Brother Bashir. A lot of people say, I love Brother Bashir. Thank you, Sister Miriam, for the 2017 <laughs> reference. And Sister Angel, Yvonne, Assalamu alaikum, alaikum salam, family. Uh, people are giving you the greeting, sir. So yes, after sir. that, after that incident happens, you grow up. Were you like a junior FY in Pride of Seventy Five, or? Oh yes, you? sir. Yes, sir. Emphatically, brother. Come on, you know your parents <laughs> coming into the nation, brother. You know, you know how it is with your yes, pops. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> you sir. know, brother. You, you know, we are taught to make all boys join the FY. Yes, sir. So, brother, me coming up, brother. You know, we. Went to public school in that particular uh, city of Pomona for uh, a good while, and things got a little hectic for us. So my father enrolled us into MUI out of Los Angeles, which was a task for my mother because she had to drive us from Los Angeles, uh, from Pomona to Los Angeles, which is about a a 35-minute, 45-minute drive, depending on traffic, to uh, the MUI, which was on Broadway in Los Angeles, the one that, uh, that, uh, that we were primarily out of. Yes, um, but as the journey traveled, brother, us coming up in the nation, brother, uh, man, it was a beautiful experience because my father became a very notable person in the city and took the nation um, in that city on a whole different level. You know how we always start a study group and one thing lead to another. Yes, sir, my yes, father. Sir. Um, was an electronic engineer Mm, mm, and uh, mm. he developed a lot of uh, various electronic equipment. So uh, as he began to work in the city, he opened up multiple businesses. And I like to say, brother, before I go too much further, I thank a lot for my parents, brother, because both of them have transitioned back to a lot. 
and but for them, but for them, I wouldn't be here before you or your audience and some of the things that I have experienced in life and uh, able to contribute to our nation and our people, I would not be here but for them. So I'd like to thank Allah and this messenger for them. Uh, because in normal, most cases, when I do speak before I say, I'll usually ask their permission, <laughs> you know, yes, but uh, at that journey coming up in the nation, brother, my father had almost 17 to 18 different businesses, mm. varying mm. from record stores, um, laundry mats, yes, sir. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, bakery trucks. Uh, I remember as a little boy getting out, um, selling the Muhammad Speaks, brother, Never forgetting, brother, my first donation, brother, uh, carrying my little my little bundle, which was almost a quarter stack. The mm, bundle mm. was 100, but a quarter stack is a minimum 25, and I had yes, to hold yes, 25. And getting that five dollar donation, it just self in, uh, inspired me as a little boy of just the inspiration of of, of helping our people. And uh, along with the businesses that my father had, um, teenager club called the workshop where he had non-alcoholic uh, uh, drinks for young teenagers, pulling them off the street. Um, and uh, his radio program, which was uh, the Soul Session. Okay, and, okay, okay. Um, you know, I, I say this because this is a publication of something that my father is not here to speak for himself, but he is here through me. Yes, During sir. that time, brother, my father, I thank Allah and his messenger for, for my parents because I've had a good life with them. Yes, and with that good life with my parents, my father has led a great example, a great example of business. Um, as a radio disc jockey brother, his whole program was dedicated in a, in a methodical way of delivering the teaching of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad as a rostrum mm -hmm. in the city of Pomona. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. People knew he was a Muslim because his name was John Groove. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, um, you know, he always say, he would say the supreme wisdom in ways where he would say knowledge is power. And then he would run through the actual facts, brother, about yes, sir. The, yes, sir. the speed of light, the speed of sound, uh, the speed of the earth in his radio broadcast that was uh, uh, a very hit to the people. Um, you know, then as the Nate, as, as my father grew into uh, the, 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 the teachings, um, he took the teenage club, which was the workshop. And uh, we had a minister by the name of brother minister Earl that came out of Los Angeles. And the, uh, the, the believers grew so many in, in Pomona, Pomona had to open up its own little mosque. Mm -hmm. He never received a number but it was considered a mosque, which my father, I remember many nights at two o'clock in the morning, my dad working at night, building the check posters, the, the, the stage, the roster. Yes, sir. These are vivid in my mind as Allah has blessed me to be this age. And, you know, everyone who know me, Brother Joshua, know I'm pretty long-winded, so I like to just not really bore your viewers or, or your audience. Yes, yeah, sir, you're not, but, you're not boring us. You're not boring us. But, right but at you. six. But at 60 years of the travel of journey, walking with very wise men, Allah has given me a lot. And I can't give it to you all in one saying in one sitting. Yes, sir. But, you know, as we know, nothing is promised to any individual. But as you had been asking me for many, many years, and me and you had a conversation about two or three weeks ago, and I was saying, you said, brother, we got to get this going because it's, 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 it has to be documented. So brother, we got the nation running and at the fish program and the bean pies and all that brother. And, mm. you know, from that point, brother, I grew up, um, it became a low weather storm in my family's home where my mother and father became separated. And my mother came to Los Angeles. Um, during that time period, that's roughly around 1973, 74. Um, my mother, we lived on the east side of Los Angeles, which they call South Central LA. Yes, east sir, side yes, was sir. east side then, but now the whole doggone city is South Central LA. Yes, sir. But, yes, uh, sir. You know, raised on that side, my parents, my father came back to LA. 
And uh, brother, man, it was just a journey because my parents fell back out of the teachings. And uh, I began to see things in a different way throughout my whole life that I used to be seeing. Mm, so, mm. Um, uh, with that to say, brother, coming up in Jordan down, one of the projects, um, uh, seeing black people for what they really are, me not being around by the Muslims, suited and booted, you know, we start taking ways upon of the world. Most of our young brothers and sisters in the nation know how that is coming up under your parents and your parents are very rigid and then yes, you sir, become yes, and get loose. So uh, that's what happened, brother. Um, yes, sir. Um, and then uh, closing that, brother, one day the minister was speaking at the uh, 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 event at the Scottish Rite. Mm, mm, and he mm. said, uh, I believe it was check up from the neck up. <laughs> Okay. And um, my mother and father went and seen the minister. Mm. And the host of that show was, uh, excuse me, not the host of the show, but the host of that venue was a group called the Topical Graph Research Center, which was Brother Collin. Mm, mm. Okay. And okay. Um, when my mother came home that evening, because I was a little low rider then, you know, I really have never been a wild brother. Yes, sir. But uh, I just been a brother that I've been conscientious, kind hearted because my mother birthed me that way. Yes, sir. But, um, super intelligent from what my father's given me through God. Praise be to Allah. Um, my mother came, she said, You know, it's some other Muslims up there on 39th and Crenshaw, and they got a meet next Sunday. You got to go up there and check them out. Mm -hmm. So I'll never forget, brother, going up to Crenshaw, which was the west side of town. And us east siders don't go on the west side. It just that was just too far for travel. <laughs> yes, but sir. I yes, hit the switches, brother, and popped up and went over there to the west side on 39th. And the outside of the building, way brother Colin and brother, um, the way the brothers had it, they had a geographic painting of the of a mural from the front all the way around the side of just the black man's uh, history. Mm, slavery mm. and etc. I mean, the building was painted like that, so it caught my mind. Like, damn, I ain't never seen no no building like this. Yes, where sir. You, yes, sir. Where you where you can express black consciousness in the public, mm, so, mm. brother. Um, when I came in, brother, I never forget brother uh, Halim at that time was the captain. He was a uh, brother Michael then, and uh, uh, the other first officer, brother Michael, brother Mikhail were the first officer and I was a low rider. So, you know, us being uh, a, a little unintelligent brother, you know, and I got to show my, my equipment. I come in and I, I flame, I drop my car and just start dragging it, throwing a bunch of flames out. Mm, and then yeah, I park yeah. my car and I never forget I had a pair of coca sacks, my white t-shirt on. And I had a Jerry curl in. That was when they <laughs> were, they were, <laughs> they was popping. Yes, sir. So I walked in brother. And, and got checked and uh, went inside and inside the Topical Graph Research Center, brother, it was a, another mural of way Dr. Olu, which was one of the brothers, it was a, as a minister, began to teach the tour. Mm. It all ended up at the end, brother, that they taught the heritage from, from Africa, from the shores of Africa, all the way through the journey of, the, of our journey through America and the 60s and et cetera, brother, to the point where at the end it came up, did you accept Islam? Mm. Would you stand up and help the nation of Islam? Had nothing, to, no, 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 no crescent to start, nothing, but it came in, but the brothers had suits and the FY uniform gone. <clears throat> and then they pulled the chairs to the side, tables to the side, and then the brothers did a drill demonstration. Okay, okay. I said, man, this is it, man. I got to get with this. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. By Allah's grace, brother, I became a part of the FOI then, brother, and began to work. And uh, the, the rest is history of coming into the nation. And Great. that has been a very joyous and experience that I am thankful to Allah that I'm still here to be able to experience this enjoyment of our people into the journey of freemen.
Thanks be so a lot. And thank you all for your comments. And thank you very much, Brother Bashir, for your transparency. Uh, so the value says, Brother Bashir is a soldier. Mrs. Nightingale says, Salam alaikum. Brother Bashir taught us a lot. We, thank you. They love you, Brother Bashir. Thank you very much. Great job. Great job. Okay. I'm coming to you all's comments. Uh, Brother Bashir, what are your parents' names? My father's name is Brother John 22X Muhammad. And just to let you know, he was the 22nd John in Mosque number 27. Yes, sir. Yes, sister, sir. sister Thelma 3X Muhammad. And my grandmother's name was Sister Dorothy 3X. Mm. And my grandfather was Brother Mac X. Mm. And uh, by Allah's grace, I'm joyful to all of them for my presence today. Praise be to Allah. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, what was it like um, after the Muslim Elijah Muhammad departed when you were, you know, coming up? Wow, brother, you know, you touched some very good points, brother, because um, I never forget the day, brother, I was 15 years old. Uh, we were living in, in Jordan Down, which is a major project out here. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm outside um, in the front yard and my father came out and I saw my father crying. Mm -hmm. I never hardly seen my father crying or teared up, not just boo-hooing, because my father, he ain't a boo-hooer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but he had tears in his eyes. And I said, what's wrong, Dad? He said, I just, I just heard that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad had, had died. Mm -hmm. And me knowing who the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was and is, I said, man, he's gone? He said, yes, he's gone. And my father said, man, only if I had stayed, maybe I, I could have helped more and helped him more. Mm -hmm. But that was during the time, brother, 1975. Like I told you, I was 15 years old, and I found myself sitting down going into a depression because I, I knew that that was almost our only chance. You know, and I, you know, I don't know. I got this little book from Savior's Day. But see, I lived in these eras of time. Yes, sir. Yes, I sir. lived in those eras of time when the nation had these, um, the, the, the school, the jet that we had bought the messenger. Yes, sir. I yes, lived sir. those times. I lived in the time when the fish from Peru came to Los Angeles and the FOI and my, the mafia tried to stop the, the nation from uh, the union and mafia tried to stop the nation from receiving a fish off the off the ship. And, you know, the captains then and the FOI then was an intolerable of that. And we got our fish off that ship Hello. So during those times, brother. You know, me coming up during that time, I lived that. And those things are very precious and valuable to me in my heart. You know, yes, sir. brother to yourself and young believers coming up. There, as we, we look back and we saw the movie Harriet Tugman. Yes, sir. And we look, well, there's a nation of Tugmans. There's a nation that the Rock, Brother Rockman and the, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, the Malcolm X's, the, yes, the, the individuals that, the, the, that, that we may not see their faces every day, were people who lay a serious foundation in this world for the youth to enjoy these pocket enemies. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Smartphones. Yes, sir, yes, sir. That uh, primarily orientates the direction of the way they wanna think. Yes, sir. We had to do this, we had to do this via foot. Uh, we call us the foot soldiers. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You know? Yes, sir, so yes, sir, thank, brother. Thank you all for, for your comments. And everyone, we are coming to his history of doing security for Michael Jackson and the celebrities, because a lot of people want to know about that. But we, 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 we coming right there. We coming right there for it. Yes, sir. Yeah, pay, yes, sir. brother, tell you, to, uh, your audience, patience is an attribute because, yes, but for, as my father always say, but for that great man, this man right here, this is a young picture of him, but it's still a picture. Yes, sir. But for that young man right there, Yes, sir. I wouldn't even know that man. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Praise be to yeah. Allah. Yes, sir. My next question was, who trained you, uh, uh, Brother Bashir, in Los Angeles, and how did you get your first assignment in the ranks? Oh, wow. Brother, you, you see, Allah is God, because I kind of like had some things set up. But you know what, brother? 
me having one of the most dynamic teams, brother, between my father being a soldier, my yes, father sir. was a paratrooper. Yes, sir. Most people don't know about paratroopers in the, in the enemy's uh, military. A paratrooper is one of the most coldest individuals in the, in the enemy's military. Yes, sir. Not a ranger, not a Green Beret, not a Navy SEAL, a paratrooper. Yes, sir. A paratrooper dropped from an airplane at thousands of feet pulled his parachute, dropped into anywhere jungle. He was a self-surviving individual. He wow. had no radios. He had no communication. He had his weapon, his uh, his survival pack, and he moved. That was where my father was. Yes, sir. But to meet men like my father in the teachings, which first one was Brother Collett. Man, yes. I just love that brother. That brother, you know, I mean, I loved him, man. Yes, I mean... You just could not sit around him in a certain kind of posture. You couldn't slouch. You couldn't lean against wall. You had to walk with the chest out, yes, your sir. hands in an erect way. And you couldn't be caught nibbling and stuff during the middle of the day. All this was, was regiment. Yes, sir. But he couldn't, but he had a cold blooded captain. And brother, everybody in LA knew him. And I just found out some good news about that too, about him. But I got a picture of him because I was at Savior's Day this year mm. and I saw this picture. That's brother, uh, let's see if you can, I don't know if you can see it. Yes, sir. Bro brother Malik. Yes, sir. Praise be to Allah. Brother Malik was my number one captain. He taught me, brother, man, he taught us, brother, in ways, brother, you know, we all got that streety in us <laughs> where we go out and we serve somebody singly. But yes, sir. man, we, we moved as a unit, brother. And when you had your details, your instructions, brother, and you suited and booted, brother, with him, brother, oh, my God. I, well, what I was sharing with you and other brothers, uh, brother Michael and them at the studio at, uh, at uh, 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 downtown L.A., I was telling them, I said, man, the brothers, we got war stories. Yes, sir. Change the name to protect the innocent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Brother, <laughs> brother, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, brother, brother. Brother Malik, uh, Brother Captain Haleen, um, many of the lieutenants, but Lieutenant Ronnie, uh, uh, we just had so many days. You had interviewed Brother uh, Sutan. Yes, sir. And I, yes, sir. I, I'd uh, heard part of his interview where he was talking about how LA was, was wild. Brother, yes, I'm telling you, LA was wild, brother, when it came down to the FOI. And I mean, not wild in a in an unrighteous way, but yes, we sir. meant the business of raising our nation, rebuilding our nation, getting our nation back up by, as Malcolm would say, any means necessary. Oh, brother, okay. to me, brother, we was drivers, but you was going to do this. <laughs> You're going to carry your papers. You were going to push your pie if you came into these ranks. Yes, you know sir. the part where it said no compulsion in Islam? We didn't yes, see sir. that part in the Quran. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, brother, by Allah's grace, brother, brother, uh, Brother Malik, Brother Collett, and a lot of the lieutenants, we all drove. And, you know, we went through many changes, brother, in Los Angeles. Uh, from Brother Captain Haleen going to jail and um, being accused of things. And, man, it was just something. Me going to jail and Brother uh, Sutan, Brother um, Take Abubakari getting about eight of us out of jail because we were being accused of something that we had some responsibilities in it, but uh, you know, you don't put your hands on our brother without consequences, oh, but Allah is God, because I was supposed to do 25 years plus with, for that crime, but mm. our beloved brother and Allah got us out of that. Coming into um, assignment, brother Wali uh, came into the ranks, because um, we, we moved in several different locations, brother, at that particular time, when, when the redevelopment of Crenshaw Boulevard was coming and they wanted to move the Muslims off the main boulevard in that particular point. We moved from the top, we went to Bull and Claw, then we went to uh, Pastor um, uh, First AME Church. Yes, sir. Uh, then uh, Allah blessed us to get the mosque on Crenshaw, which was, uh, was a very beautiful edifice that uh, we worked to dedicate that had one of the largest uh, nationals that almost any city has seen. It was 35 feet tall, about, uh, I think like 20, 35 feet tall, almost 30 inches thick, a mm. giant crescent that started. You could see literally 
about eight miles away, any portion of the city. So um, Brother Wali came into the ranks. Mm. And he was from prior to 75 and out of Compton. And i uh, never forget, brother, when he came into class and um, because, brother, it was a lot of changes in authority, brother. The nation, as we journeyed through this, it was a lot of changes. A lot of different posters were being switched out, the, um, the uh, lieutenants, the captains. See, I called it in my in my time, brother, in me. This is bro, uh, brother, uh, brother Malik of this city, uh, brother Stu Minister Malik, says brother Bashir speaks Bashirbik. <laughs> <laughs> he has his own language and his own people, the Bashirians. Yes, sir, yes, so, sir. But so sometimes, brother, you have to forgive my words. They may not be correctly pronounced. So yes. that's my language. Yes, sir. Um, as uh, the white people try to lay, lay, uh, lace us with Ebonics. You yes, know? Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. But um, brother Wally came in, brother, and man, brother, that brother was teaching. I mean, he was like, teaching a different kind of way than brother Malik, mm. but he had that dry soldier, you know, but you know, the difference he added to it, he put that cold business to it. Mm, mm, mm. A nation can't survive without no money. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he took the method, the way we would push and drive our pies and papers, because not, I mean, I'm not taking away nothing from the way we did the top brother. Yes, Word sir. is bond. LA was a driver. Yes, sir. We yes, were sir. in righteous competition with anybody, brother. Yes, I sir. remember these days at 700 pies a day, mm, mm. almost a thousand papers a day, mm, mm. almost 5,000 pounds of fish a day. Mm. The FYI was driving. And this yes, was in the early days when the minister uh, was moving back and forth and doing, um, I think it was, um, I want to say, black male and female relationship is yes, when sir. the minister was moving back and forth. I mean, our beloved minister, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, brother, a lot of us do not know what the minister has put himself through in the traveling. He would be on two sides of the country in one day. Mm, he mm. would teach on the East Coast, get on a plane, fly to, to the West Coast, do a lecture, and then be back on a plane at night to go some other part of the country. Yes, sir. But we had to secure him in the Western region, East region, and so on. Yes, sir. But as Brother Wally came in, brother, and began to teach us to set up businesses, um, standing businesses, mm. you know, that the public could come to. Um, we had businesses popping up all throughout Los Angeles, and Brother Wally gave me those opportunities to work in my, my skills of building to help build a lot of those locations, put them together. And at that same time, uh, I became uh, uh, a part of the assignment as, as the Western Regional Investigator. Well, at first I was a local investigator. Okay, okay. And then <clears throat> as it began to span out, we got more monsters that came and uh, I say recovered their, their number. They didn't actually lose it. We just recovered it because, you know, uh, they had to have that act of 40 believers. Yes, so they recovered their numbers. So as the West Coast region became bigger, I became the, the Western Regional Investigator. Yes. It was pretty much a very enlightening post, you know, um, challenging uh, to be very balanced and be right. Yes, sir. Uh, and I can recall, I'd like to share a little story. One time there was an incident that took place in Los Angeles. And we were on Western Boulevard, Brother Minister Ave and Brother Minister Wazir were the minister at the time. Brother yeah. Captain Wali was the captain. Brother Captain Haleen was, he was like a first officer, but he was in lieu of becoming a captain. Mm, mm, and mm. Uh, man, we had an incident with some of the inner family, with the believers. And uh, we were having a believers meeting. And a believer stood up, told the minister something that happened. And, um, and I said, uh, Brother Wally stood up and told, uh, he said, he told the minister, the minister was beginning to question the, the, the audience of what it took place. Brother Wally stood up and said, well, Brother Bashir investigated. And uh, the minister turned around on the stage in front of whole, all the believers. He said, Brother Bashir's mouth is not the Bible. Mm. <laughs> brother, <laughs> I said, oh my God, brother. It humbled me, but during that trial, the minister asked the believers all to show up at the hotel, and I was a, 
a witness to that whole process mm, mm. of how the minister methodically did the real investigation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, by Allah's grace, brother, um, I learned a lot just by looking at the uh, at our beloved minister, how he handles things in a humble and methodical way. Praise be to Allah. And beautiful. And thank you. All. Thank you for your transparency, sir. And your just honesty. Uh, thank you all for watching. And I'm going to come to you all's comments very soon. Um, Brother Bashir, my next question is, you said that the minister said Brother Bashir's mouth isn't the Bible. Well, when did he give you the name Brother Bashir and how did that come about? Can you please let us know? Well, well let me let me retract. <laughs> let me retract. Okay. My name prior to that was Brother John Foex. And for a little history of my name, um, my parents gave me the name, even though my father's name was Brother John. My parents named me John out of the Bible, St. John. Yes, sir. Because my younger brother behind me is Mark, out of St. Mark. So they yes, were sir. naming us out of the Bible. Yes, sir. But at that time, Brother Minister said, Brother, he said, Brother John, not his, his mouth is not the Bible. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, but, yes, sir. but at that particular time, brother, that's what my name was. And, you know, um, I remember Sister Joyce, me writing my letter, writing my letter, and I could never get it because my my writing handwrite handwriting wasn't of skill. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And brother, brother Jabril, at that time, brother Kushmir. Yes, sir. He yes. uh he came in and started teaching fire and brimstone about the mother plane coming, <laughs> and I never forget what my mother told me. You don't want to be here when the mother plane comes and allow the baby plane to begin to destroy America. Yes, so sir. brother, I stayed up all night, brother. And my hands, I was cramping so hard and I finally submitted to Allah mm, mm. and wrote my letter out of almost a full pack. I'm talking about 500 sheets of typing paper. I finally was able to write my letter. And by then I was really brother John X, but I wound up becoming I wound up becoming I, I wound up becoming brother John Foex because I hadn't submit. But yes, John Foex was a good name because four represents a, a form of foundation. Yes, sir. So coming to my name is kind of another lengthy long story, but I'll try to brief it, brother. Yes, sir. Um, I I became brother Bashir Muhammad in the time of 1989, early parts of 89, we, the nation was always in a challenge of righteous competition. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, which I love this man, this brother, you know, I'm not a person, I'm not a personality worshiper. Yes, sir. But you, 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 when you're in his presence, uh, blessed to be in his presence, you see what he gives up of himself for us to have what we say as a nation. Yes, sir. Because his thought is beyond our thoughts. Yes, sir, yes, sir. But as he began to purchase, he purchased the, the, the final call building. Never forget all the believers were there working to get the final call and they were doing the lectures, et cetera. But the minister put the nation on a mission that Mas Mariam came up for purchase mm. and, or a form of an agreement. The minister secured it. And as the minister secured it, he reached out to all the contractors, all the brothers who knew how to build. I never forgot I was in Los Angeles and we were out working on our, 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 um, our restaurant, our bakery, uh, building them, constructing. And I got wind, I told Brother Minister Wazir, I said, brother, I wanna go. I wanna go help work on the mines. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't out of just, it was just me because that is my spirit. Anyone who knows Brother Bash here, yes, sir. anyone who knows me, I'm willing in a charitable way to give myself. See, when you say my life and my death is all for Allah, well, we all are attributes of Allah and each and each one of us, we can give ourselves to that person as long as it's not usury or you're not trying to abuse that person. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So I'm a giving person. So brother, my mind said, brother was, man, I'm getting on the next thing smoking to get to Chicago. I built a big old box and put all my tools in brother. And I shipped them to Chicago. Never forget when I walked through the door of Mas Mariam, through the front door just up there by the rostrum. The minister's coming up on the other side 
uh, from the other side, sister's side, coming through that double set of door. And he looked at me, he said, that go my cleanup man from Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And uh, I gave, humbled myself, gave the minister the greetings. And, uh, you know, uh, and um, we had a few little conversations and rest of that portion, we began to go to work, which was the, the contractor manager, which was Brother Carl out of Houston. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dallas, excuse me, out of Dallas. And um, brother, and, and, and please forgive the long-winded. Oh, no, no, we here for this. In order for you to, to grasp it and hold yes, it, brother. Yes, sir. I thank you, brother Joshua, because it's my story. As I told you, and I told you, I wanted to give you that privilege to help me write that book. Your father, you know, as I sit and hold his book, your father, a beautiful man. You yes. have to write, you got to write your story down in the nation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because yes. And eventually, we will be a part of history to not be able to speak from here. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. When you write your words down out of your mouth, this can't be changed. Yes, and sir. I'll get back to that. Who taught me something about this? Uh, and, and one of the questions that your viewers were asking about. And yes. that is, brother, that I worked at Miles Marion, brother. I, I don't want to say I as a so much as I, me, look at me. Yes, sir. Because the minister teaches us of I burgers and me cheeses on it. Yes, sir. That is not me. Yes, sir. Yes, but sir. Allah has blessed me with a journey in our nation with a spirit. And I want to roll back to Brother Wali. He told me one day, he said, Brother Bashir, you're a good brother. Always follow your heart, brother, because mm. your heart is not going to lead you wrong. Praise be to Allah. Um, so coming back to Mas Marion, brother. I began to work at Mas Marion under a crew. A brother called to assign me a crew, no, assigned me to a crew. I began to work, and brother, I would accomplish these things, brother. With another brother by the name of Brother Michael, may Allah be pleased and blessed with his spirit. He's he transitioned back to Allah one day, coming to Savior's Day, and had an accident and transitioned back to Allah. But that brother was working with me downstairs in the sauna where we had built a stage. A lot mm. of these things I have pictures of. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of, of Mosh Marion before any retro, retrofitting was done. And uh, wow. You know, um, just working there for the months, I was there for almost, I'd say, six, six months. But in that process, brother, as I was working in a rapid pace, the minister uh, saw how quickly I was moving through things. And the minister said, brother, Carl, get that brother a crew and let him and give him an assignment and let him get some things done because of the amount of time we had to get the mosque done. One of the first assignments they gave me, brother, was the retrofitting and refinishing of everything that you see that looks as gold in the mosque. Everything by Allah's permission and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan's blessing, your brother had a participant in taking every bit of those chandeliers piece by piece, the gold bars, everything on the rostrum, yes, sir. were all disassembled piece by piece, refinished, repolished, reglazed, and put back together. To this day, I have the schematic to where I had to draw pictures so that I could put them back the way they were before. Mm -hmm. Along with that process, there were items that we found at Mosque Maryam that were so significant to the history of the nation that Allah blessed me to put my hands on which I will probably say, uh, we, you know, we, we, we don't want to say, oh, this is a secret, but guess what, brother? We've all been blessed because with that opportunity, I was blessed to, to move a very significant piece of, of property that belonged to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad that he was supposed to be a part of from outside to the inside of the mosque. And some mm -hmm. of us that are privileged to know What's yes, behind the curtains? Yes, sir. Yes, know sir. that that was my assignment, along with the other brass. And man, I was thankful because 
it took a very serious mindset to move it. And a lot of brothers moved, moved along with it. I pictured the brother Sutan and Sutan was a part of it. A lot of the brothers were working in the mosque to, to make this happen. Yes, sir. So by the time um, we got, I'm getting to the name. This is all related to the oh, name. I'm right here with you. I'm right here yes, with sir. you. Yes, sir. This is all related to name as I'm on this journey, brother. And different times, the minister would come in there, brother. Word is bond. The minister would come in at 4 a.m. in the morning and see yeah. us working. Yeah. And he would tell us the brothers in Los Angeles are hardly ever asleep. Mm, mm. But we also had brothers from Dallas, from all over the place. A lot of the brothers that came in, but we yes, were sir. always working to try to make that deadline time. Yes, sir. And um, I remember time being working on my hands and knees in certain areas. And the minister would come in. And as he would come in, you know, we'd come to an attention. And the, and, and the minister said, brother, what's your name? And I say, brother John Foex, sir. He said, not for long, brother, not for mm, long, mm, mm, mm. not yes, for long. And brother, he, I, I don't want to use the word taunt, but the minister used to just do that to me, brother, like once, <laughs> once every three weeks or something, brother, in this whole journey, brother. And um, I'm sitting, uh, one time I'm working somewhere in the miles, I can't really recall it, brother, because it's such an extensive project. The minister said to me, brother, he said, brother, I'm going to pray to Allah for your name. I was blown away, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because first thing came in my mind was not to fraud Muhammad. I humbled Muhammad. I said, wow, he's going to pray to God for my name. Who am I worthy of the messenger of God, the dear holy reminder to pray to God for my name. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. I went on by my, by my way, brother, doing what I had to get done. And back then, brother, um, I was eating one meal every other day for almost a year and a half. Mm, mm, mm. So, brother, I was on a, a level, brother, <laughs> um, of, <laughs> man, I, I want to say the word, but it might come out in a Bashir big turn. <laughs> <laughs> But brother, to get a chance to ride that ride with the building and rebirth of the Mas Marion. I said building and rebirth the Mas Marion because brother, those are the times that I learned who he was, mm. the minister. Yes, sir. To me, I'm a, I call myself an old foot soldier, you know, and you know, the proof is in the pudding. You know, you gotta, you gotta be young, but you gotta be able to prove who the not be able to prove, be able to explain and show who the minister is, the messenger yes, is, and God is in the, in the Holy Quran, the Bible, and the teaching. But sometimes, brother, everything spiritual and readable, you got to have something that's really convincing. You yes, got to know yes, that sir. you got into a situation that you know it wasn't you. Yes, sir. But then when you see him do things that you know, I know what he said, and I saw what happened. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then you know, he just ain't the person who you think is just walking around. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. Praise be to Allah. Be to Allah. You know, so by Allah's grace, brother, I'm work. I'm working in the school. This is about, I want to say about five days, six days before. Five or six days before the dedication of Mas Marion, which was the year of the dawn. And uh, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan was walking down in uh, MUI. Everyone who has been to, to, to MUI Chicago, you know how you got that long hallway as you come through the double door, but right just to your right is the administration office, which has a wood wall. I'm there, had that assignment of refinishing that wall. So I'm sanding that wall. and one of the appearances that I love to see the minister walking is walking with his detail. God, I love that walk. Yes, sir, Just yes. to see the minister moving in the diamond. Yes, sir. You yes, know, sir. I'm yes, watching sir. the minister move down the hall, coming, and then he points his finger. He said, brother, he said, I got your name. Mm -hmm. I'm looking like, the minister prayed to Allah for my name, and he got an answer. 
I'm tripping. See, you got to look, brother. See, when you get when you're in levels of development of this teaching, brother, you you look at the things and you're trying to think and put pieces together. So he said, I got your name. And he kept moving. That's all he did. He looked at me. And he, brother was like, it was like, I don't want to call it a tornado, but it was like a wind moving. Brother, he moving and just go right past. He said something and kept pushing. Yes, sir. You know? So I kept working, brother. We got to a point, brother, where we had the dedication. And like I told you, brother, I'm I'm I'm, I'm I, I came up with a thought of a name, brother when me and you were talking, I remember I told you I wanted to get a name of a book yes, and I sent it to you. I said, I, I said, I want the name of my book to be, you can tell the fruit by the, uh, you can tell a tree by the fruit it bears. Yes, sir, yes, I sir. said that would be a befitting name because I am an FOI. Yes, sir, I consider sir. myself as a crack FOI. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? All praises are due to Allah for the most yes, time. Sir. You know, so I said that would be a befitting name. But a lot of things took place, so I would like to explain a lot of that, brother, in detail. Yes, sir. So the believers will be able to hear from a witness. Yes, sir. You know, you know how we say the hadith of yes, Prophet sir. Muhammad made the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. Yes, sir. Man, look, I got some Farrakhan hadiths. Allah, Allah, Allah. Yes, sir. You know that sometimes, brother, and many of us, your father, many of us, brother. We were companions that have walked with him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The minister didn't have 12 disciples. He got many disciples. That's right. That's right. That's that right. walked with him. Oh, that wow. are holding in our breast, in our chest, and mind of things that have happened through our journey of this rebirth, let alone prior to 75. Yes, sir. You know, because I thank my mother. I want to run back just a little bit. You take your my time. mother raised me as a MGT has that taught the Muslim girl training in general civilization how to rear their children and take care of their other. I mean, didn't say that correct. I know I probably got some MGT. Probably. <laughs> Brother, you didn't say that correct. Well, I, I'm out for why, you know? The fruit is the best. The military backbone of the nation of Islam. Yes, I can say that part. Yes, but <laughs> the, uh, my mother, as me coming up, brother, she raised me a certain kind of way, brother. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught the MGT class as the Honorable Minister Lil Farrakhan has taught the MGT class. And my mother would, in a better term could be used, but regurgitated what the messenger gave her in her class to us as children. Yes, sir. And it stuck with me, brother, as a good seed that grew up in me that I began to execute a lot of things that she taught me. I was, by Allah's grace, brother, my mother taught me how to cook, clean, sew. Praise so, be to so Allah. So, as an FOI, brother, that I could be a good husband or mate for my wife. And by Allah's grace, brother, all praises are due to Allah. Thank Allah for my mother because she taught me a lot that has brought a lot of things up that made some of the businesses that I have. But as I was saying, brother, you know, this journey. Uh, coming to get my name, I'm sitting in the mosque the day after the dedication. And uh, man, the minister comes out with a roll of the plans on his shoulder. I mean, about that big, brother, literally. Yeah. And he's walking out the back. He said, well, you know, we finally got our approval for the plan, but we'd already retrofitted the mosque, got everything done. Yeah. And uh, just all the work that was done, the Turk, Turkish people that the minister brought in to do the the uh, the scripture in the the dome. Yes, sir. That yes, sir. looks that I've always said look like one of the baby planes when you really look at it. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You know, but um, I'm sitting here with my wife then, uh, and we're we're just sitting there, just admiring the beauty of the interior decor of the sanctuary, and the minister stopped and asked me and my uh, wife at the time, uh, what day are you leaving? And and, and you, you use the word transparent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I got to be transparent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, look, I'm in Chicago. Brother, I, look, I'm born and raised out of California, brother. The sunny, 
not like Florida, but we used to sun warm temperature. Yes, but I went through all the winter weather, weather, but I was like, uh, uh, I had three layers of clothes and just consistently rolling in that cold temperature. Yes, sir. Man, I was ready to get up out of Chicago, yes, let sir. alone with the personality and characters of Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get out of Chicago, so I told the minister, I got a plane, brother minister, to leave to leave tomorrow at six o'clock. Yeah. The minister said, Okay, brother, can you come by the palace um uh around four o'clock just before dinner? I like to see you, brother. Yeah. And uh, we made our way over there, brother, to the palace the next day, and uh by law's grace. Uh, the minister has a seating <clears throat> a seating area just adjacent to the main dining area. So I'm sitting in there, brother, with my children's mother. We had our young child at that time. Her name was Salia. Mm. Minister would come and she was breastfeeding. She, she was on she was on the breast, and the minister looked dipped in, and she was nursing nursing my daughter. And she said, "Oh, I'll be." He said, "I'll be back." He came back twice. Mm. But every time she would, he would come back. My daughter would raise up and just look at him like, "Hey, brother, I'm I'm eating." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, by law's grace, the minister finally came in. He sat down. He sat down to my right. My wife at the time was sitting to my left, and mind you, my daughter, which was a little bit above two years old. Man, she going all through the minister's cabinets to the little coffee table, looking through, man, you know. So <clears throat> he asked what he asked us what her name was and what the meaning was. And he said, indeed, she is that. So he began to say, and I and I appreciate you, brother, taking the time and allowing me with your audience being very patient okay. to say this because Brother Bashir is. You know, we are to rise above emotion into the thinking of God. Yes, sir. I can be emotional when it comes down to things that are passion to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's a passionate time to me when the minister gave me my name. Um, he's sitting in the room and he said, brother, I am not giving you your name because of the work that you did. He said, because when a brother's called to do work, you're supposed to come with the skills that Allah has given you to, 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 to bring and give it to your nation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, but brother, I'm giving you your name because of the spirit that you did your work in. He said, brother, you remind me of a man in the, in the Bible that came from a great distance bearing good news. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he said, brother, that's why I'm going to name you Brother Bashir. And then he said, and he said, and if it wasn't for your beautiful wife not giving you peace during the time of your work of surrendering, oh, Allah, he know. <laughs> the minister know. You know, us brothers, we catch it. And some of the sisters and brothers or husband and wife can understand, you know, when we're when we are the uh, I think the minister made a lecture on the man on the man on the mission. Is yes, that, did yes, I say it correctly? Yes, sir. Man, yes. When a man is on his mission, man, you 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 got blinders on. You don't see nothing but man. I got to get my soldier on. Yes, sir. You yes. know. So he said, and "I'm naming you Zuhira, which mm. means radiantly beautiful." Mm. And then my my children's mother at that time, she said, she began to ask him how you spell it. He said, well, you spell your name Z-U-H-E-E-R-A-H. And he said, and brother, you spell your name B-A-S-H-E-E-R. He said, because Allah make all things new. Mm, mm. And then I'm saying this, brother, because Allah has provided me through you, brother, to say this. Through your listening audience. Because it's going to get to the ultimate of your last question of the entertainers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because we're going to get to that. Yes, sir. But it ain't about that one. It's about the one who got me here yes, to sir. this day. Yes, Them sir. three. Yes, sir. The Savior, Master Farad Muhammad, God in person, in person. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Christ. Yes, sir. 
and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan in, in our midst today. Yes, sir. They allow me to sit here today. I have no privilege. This, my, this is not my voice. This is God's voice interpreted through me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For my journey that he privileged me with from them three men and two bodies, mother and father. And me, of course, doing the very best I can to submit uh, to this teaching. So by Allah's grace, brother, he, uh, he told me, brother, he said, brother, he said, in your, he said, brother, you will not be able to exalt the blessings Allah has in store for you in your lifetime. Mm, mm, mm. And he said, brother, your children will not be able to exalt the blessing that Allah has in store for them in their lifetime as long as they're right. Mm, mm. You know, so that is basically the story, brother, of my name. And I apologize. I want to roll back because when you're speaking, you got to give the fullest, full of it. He said, brother, you're not that yet, but you will grow into it. So, uh, but I understand growing into it because it may not be this brother, Bashir, but it may be the lineage that come from me yes, that will ultimately be the apex of the bearer of good news. Praise be to Allah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes, sir. Praise be to Allah. And thank you all for watching. I'm going to read some of the comments uh, very uh, briefly. And once again, uh, thank you all for watching. We, Like you said, we're going to come to Michael Jackson. We're doing the full and complete journey of Brother Bashir so it can all make sense. My sister, uh, Brother Ali says, all praises to Allah. Walaikum salam. Uh, Brother Arvind says, thank you and your family so much for the work you've done to help the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. I'm a little far kind. Brother David Ali says, Allah walk by. What's up, Brother David? Let me say, Brother David. Hey, yes, sir. Walaikum salam. Walaikum salam. Ramadan Mubari. Hey, Watson, my brother. They from Naperville. Okay. M. Kamara Muhammad says, all praises to Allah. She remembers when you came to on Oakland Mosque in the early 90s. So Jalila says, Uncle Bashir. So the Mimi says, you did a beautiful job. Beautiful, beautiful. I'll pray to you Love Mr. you, daughter. Solomon's Temple. Um, but Janelle says, all praise to Allah. Praise to Allah. Sean Scott Muhammad says, beautiful history. Lapria, assalamu alaikum. Ramadan Mubarak, good teacher. Well, salam to Lapria. Um, Brother DeMarco, yes, sir. Yes, sir, Brother DeMarco. Thank you for uh, always showing love, bro. Brother Janelle says, you can tell the truth by the tree of bears. All, a lot of people saying, all praise to Allah. All praise to Allah. Thank you. Thank you. Teach, teach, and all praise to Allah. My next question is, for the best year, many of us uh, have seen the skits from back in the day of In Living Color, of them making uh, jokes about the most ambitious fire kind at Madison Square Garden, you know, Damian Wayne's reenacting re uh, that. And then I've YouTubed it and seen the clips of Madison Square Garden, how it lasts. Um, were you there? And if so, what was your function while you were there at Madison Square Garden? Now, brother, you know, I told you I'm long winded and I try to. <laughs> I try to crunch these stories into such compact, you know what I'm saying? Yes, you know how they say in the computer, put it in a zip drive? Yes, sir, yes, sir. It's kind of hard to take a terabyte and put it in a zip drive. Yes, sir, yes, sir. But brother, man, Madison Square Garden, 19, I want to say 1985. Yes, sir. Man, brother, brother. I never forget that day, brother, because that was the day, brother, that they flew me in because I was a brother who, uh, his, his name was Brother John uh, Ali, at the time, Brother John, but his brother, what we call him Brother Allah, mm -hmm. brother, brother Student Minister Allah. Mm -hmm. And he called me in because they knew I knew how to make a certain type of security badge mm -hmm. that was unduplicable. We couldn't, you couldn't duplicate it. You had to really know how to put it together. Yes, sir. So they called me in from Los Angeles. Never forget, I was at the hotel right across the street from the vineyard of Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Oh, my God, brother. Man, I'll tell you something. Man, they, they brought the, the, the fighters from Los Angeles. Well, I'm up at the hotel, and I, I'm up at the hotel, and I'm looking down, and I look at the police harassing one of the sisters by a car. Mm -hmm. And I jumped on the elevator, ran downstairs, man, ran over there, brother, jumped between New York police. Me not knowing, New York police are very arrogant. Mm, mm, mm. They different kind of police. They they feel like like they got this accent. So he trying to tell the sister something about her car and me. See, you don't put your hands in the face of our sisters. Well, I walk by. 
man, I jumped between her and him, like, man, you know, back up, partner. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I never forget my brother that has me out of prison today because, man, the police took his club and he had his club and he pushed me mm. in my chest, told me to back off. So I turned around and got ready to fire on him. Yes, sir. But as my hand was coming out, Captain Harleen caught my hand. Mm. Because it prevented because the bigger picture wasn't we uh, New York was looking for a reason. Mayor Mayor Koch and all them were looking yes, for a reason yes, to set New York off with the Muslims so that that venue would be canceled. So make a long story short, we get to the venue, brother. Brother, this is the first time I seen like New Yorkans. I dang they was deep. <laughs> brother, we at this door, brother, at the at the Madison Square Garden. And it's a, it's like where they got to all funnel in, funnel into a smaller area. Brother, man, those people were so eager to see our leader and teacher. Oh, wow, beautiful. Brother, Allah is my witness. Brother Khaled, they all started pushing to get in the door, like a pulsation, pushing to get in the door. Yes, sir. Brother Khaled tried to go out there and calm the people down because they were eager to get in. Brother, they were pushing so hard, I'll never forget Brother Collins' coat jacket, just all his buttons that pop, 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 popped off. Yes, sir, yes, and sir. We grabbed him and pulled him in. But that little crack on the door, brother, what did we do that for? Mm. They took the doors and opened the doors and bent the doors backwards, breaking the doors mm. off of the hinges. Mm, mm, mm. Brother, you know, sometimes, brother, this ain't, see, brother, you got to explain things and let people see and know the truth. Because, see, brother, the, when you speak the truth, it it gives people reality that everything is freaking real. Yes, sir. Man, that was the first time we lost the check post. Yes, brother, sir. Them, them New Yorkers came through there, brother, like freaking a river bridge that it got broke. The people yes, were just coming in, brother, just coming in. By the time we reached secure, yes, we yes, took sir. those bicycle racks that they got and made a giant bulldozer and pushed the people mm. back to control mm. the door. Meanwhile, brother, we got a full breach inside the venue for the mm. remaining evening. Mm. Should it go on? And that's the day, if you remember all the MGT and they white, uh, the vanguards came in and they, they lined the front of the stage with the minister when he came yeah. in. Yes, sir. He's vivid right here, brother. You know, yeah. we in there, brother, and we running through. And of course, brother, we ran up on a few New Yorkers, brother, that had things that, that they shouldn't have had, that had to be ejected. Yes, sir. You know, peacefully, because they, they didn't want to get ejected in the rude kind of way, but they humbly, submittedly took themselves out. Yes, sir. With whatever they had. <laughs> yes, sir. But, brother, me, I'm a kind of brother that move around, brother, because of my parents and father and upbringing um, as some of the skills I have, you know, I, my eyes see a lot of things that, that are just out of place. So, brother, I'm walking down the, the, the backstage area, brother, and we're walking and, um, and, and forgive me, you may have to refresh my mind on the question, but this is the Madison Square Garden. Yes, sir. Brother, we smell smoke. Brother, so I'm looking for this smoke. We go back between these double doors that are behind the stage, and it's an area of a hallway that you got to walk down, brother, maybe 15 feet, 20 feet. The smoke is getting stronger and stronger. Brother, Rasu, Mother Tanetta's son, Rasu, catches up, me and him are together. We walking down the hallway, brother, we see the smoke bewing out of this room, this door. Mm. You know, me not knowing about the movie called Backdraft, I understand it now to the point. <laughs> mm. Brother, we open the door and the oxygen or air from the room we was in ignited whatever was in that room. It just blew up, boom. I mean, it was fire from floor to ceiling. We backed out, brother, pulled the door, backed out, and backed out. By the time we backed out, we went back to the spot to 
the entryway. We broke the glass, try to get the fire hose. We turned the fire hose on. What? No water in it. Mm. Brother Minister Rasu would tell you this. Brother, I never forget Brother Colin and Brother Leonard. The, as the fire department was called, the minister was on the rostrum and they were had had this dude in a real close confinement. The hallway wasn't but about three feet wide. And you know how Brother Leonard is yes, and sir. Brother Collett. Brother Collett barreling down on this dude said, look here, man, I'm telling you, you have that fire department come without them dog on sirens and all that crazy, you know, because if our people stampede to kill themselves, you gotta know. And it was a window, I kid you not, it must have been about this size. He said, you're gonna be going out that window. Well, fire department got there and they were able to extinguish the fire. So brother, me and brother Rasu coming up out of there, we think we done done our hero, we, we done done our nation's job. We walking out, going back, resuming our post, you know? Brother, brother, look at me, brother. I, he looked at me and said, brother, what's wrong with your face? I said, what you mean what's wrong with my face, you know? He said, brother, go, go look at your face. When I went back and looked at my face, brother, my whole face was sit with black mm. duck thing where I, like just eyeball where the fire had just seized our face with mm. just with the charcoal of it. Mm. But all that to say is, brother, that was a day. Brother, that was just a day. And there were other things that took place at that, that venue, brother, that but I was there and and to me, just being a part of that that venue. You know, it wasn't too many venues that allowed, didn't allow me to go to during them, those days because it was mandatory. Crazy, bro. Okay, excellent. And thank, and I, get, I get so many questions, uh, Brother Bashir, but thank you all for your questions. Brother Bashir, thank you for your transparency. And once again, we want to thank your family, your children for their sacrifice as well. My next yes, question uh, for you at Madison Square Garden, that was a serious one. When did you go from seeing the most honorable Farrakhan as maybe someone who is a political activist or maybe a good speaker to someone who was divinely guided? I'll, I'll roll back, brother, all the way back to Los Angeles, early in the days when the Alma Mr. Louis Farrakhan came to Los Angeles. Mm. And I had the privilege to move them one day solo. And um, when you get that privilege to be in the minister's presence of his private moments, it's a blessing because the minister has entrusted you through a lot of his messenger that you are of a trusted one to move him like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I had the privilege to move him and Mother Khadija one day and just have that privilege. What do they got to do with an activist, a good speaker, and a man of God is that when you get a chance to see a man like that in his private moment, he's like me. Yes, sir. He's eating bean soup, drinking the soda, wiping his lip, cracking jokes. Yes, sir. But when you move him into another area and you see him the veil of of a lot coming over him, taking over him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You get a chance to see something that's not of him, that takes over his wording. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, the difference between uh, as you, if, if I remember correctly, you saying one that's a, a, a good speaker and a spirit of the man of God, you got to know from a street brother and some of brothers who are listening, you know, brother, you got to have a certain kind of heart. I'm not saying minister don't have that kind of heart, but man, but you get a lump in your throat, brother, when you see certain things go down, brother, but the minister stand like, to the white man and say what he needs to say to him, the Jew, and anybody around this whole entire planet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And know there's a possibility of a of a uh, uh, of a consequence. Yes, sir. Yes, During sir. the Jesse Jackson campaign, 
uh, the minister moving back and forth out here and all the encounters that we went through. The minister was giving us instructions, but not only giving us instructions, he'd be right there leading the charge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you got to know that it wasn't just talk of a good, eloquent speaker, but you could see the energy of Allah through him and what came out of his mouth was manifest by some power to be unseen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you know it wasn't just his hand. There was some other hands behind his hand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Directing him. So most of the time, brother, um, I learned seeing that, brother, as I told you, as my journey, moment after moment, brother, when the minister got in, man, I've been with the details, uh, when the minister moves about how he moves, brother, one time we missed him picking him up at the airport in San Diego, brother. I'll never forget me and the nickel. We call him the nickel. It was the first officer, brother Michael Fibex. <laughs> yes, sir. And we had to come down from LA to San Diego to pick him up at the airport. And we missed that airport pickup. So we go put it, we go to the venue. The minister's sitting in there, brother, saying, uh, he said, uh, hmm, by the time you get here, <laughs> you know. But all that to say is that, brother, looking at the different events that I've been a participant in and honor and uh, ability to be a part and see, there's a distinct difference between a good speaker and someone who is speaking of a voice that you know that there's a power coming behind that tone too. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And as we all know, brother, the ministers, uh, some of the young believers that are coming up, some of the very new ones, uh, I should say within the last two to three years, you may look at some of us older brothers and ministers say the nation and uh, never fall again. Well, you don't understand. You may not understand, but through the studies, you know, the first trial we had, it hit us like that. We didn't know what was going to come to me. It was just that the message was gone. Yeah, yeah, some yeah. of us, like myself, little guy, you know, we just accepted that the messenger died. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The minister has educated us through scripture, through examples, and encouraged us through study guides and self-improvement to bring yourself up on a level that you should not make the mistake that was made before in the nation. Yes, There's sir. no reason for the nation to fall. We are the nation. That's right, that's right. So as we uphold the nation, we all become spiritual. You can see your spiritual development. That's right. Yes, sir. And as I was sharing with a, a sister the other day, each one of us are being introduced to make our own personal relationship with Allah in the person, Master Fahad Muhammad, and the Ambulaj Muhammad. And the minister is our guide. He's the flashlight. But yes, we sir. have to have a relationship with them too to get through some of the hard trials that we're in now. Praise but as God. you're saying, brother, I, I, there's so many examples that separate left, right, up, down, stop, go with the minister that makes a clear distinction between me. Yes, sir. I, there are thousands of them. Beautiful. Thousands. Praise be to Allah. Praise Excellent. be to Allah. And thank you all for continuing to watch people's podcast. I see your questions, I see your comments. A lot of people saying yes. Preach, teach, say that. Um, thank you very much. Uh, we coming to Michael Jackson, brother. Uh, come, on, come on, bring him, yes, bring sir. him in, brother. <laughs> yes, sir. But I got a few more questions. I just want to get to my sponsorships. This week we had a lot of um, great sponsorships. I appreciate every each and every one of you from the beginning to the end. I appreciate that. J Imagination on Cash App, and we will promote your business. Um, stay on point, Dance Academy LLC. Um, on Instagram, reach out to her, uh, Sister Naima, if you want to, she can teach your children ballet, jazz, dance, tap, all that good stuff on, like from like how I'm doing this, how we're doing the interview on Zoom, she can teach your children one-on-one um, -on -one dance training online during this time. Uh, our brother in St. Louis, Missouri, 10835 West Florissant Avenue, um, that's Supreme Men's Clothing, they do great uh, clothes. The phone number is 314-528-555. That brother's going to keep you fresh and dripping. I appreciate your support, brother. BMW Entertainment in Phoenix, Arizona. 
they they uh, do promo, uh, promotions and they do event planning. Thank you. Reach out to them. Uh, Sister Shelly Muhammad of Las Vegas, designersofcomposure.com. Khalid's Boutique on Instagram. They do great fashion. Tia Vinos Muhammad, Raising Black Millionaires. Thank you for your uh, sponsorship. She teaches young black children through cards, uh, economic development and empowerment. Also, Akira's Cafe in Chicago, Illinois. Brother Aaron Muhammad, 773-860-1696. He will ship you your coffee anywhere in the country. Thank you, Brother um, Aaron, for Akira's Coffee. Hollytexture.com, natural hair products. Uh, coloring um, in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. They have natural hair products. They'll send it to you, support your own. Supreme Team Insurance, Todd X McGraw, 803-521-2787. Brother Saladin Porter and Brother David Ali, I appreciate you. I appreciate the brother from Mississippi. I'm waiting on your business. I appreciate all of the people who just sent in money without necessarily a business attached to it. Uh, Street Premiere, my brother Rashad, video production. He has a 4K camera and they are doing video editing, production. If you need something edited, reach out to Rashad Muhammad on Facebook. My sister Miriam Muhammad, two books, but ABC uh, I Love Me, a coloring book, as well as a children's book, both of which are on Amazon. Thank you, Brother Bashir, for your patience. We're coming. Oh, yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir, brother. My second children's book, my second book, which is a children's book, it is on Amazon. Thank you all. And last but not least, my father's book, a soldier in the movement of Christ, abdusharif.com. We appreciate, I appreciate all of your sponsorship. It is with the people that keep the people's podcast going. Thank you very much. And thank you, brother Dur uh, Durst for your support. I look forward to interviewing you soon, sir. All right, brother Bashir. Uh, yes, sir. I often ask people about the impact of the Maymare March. I'm coming to that as well, but I wanna talk about, I'm coming to Michael Jackson, but I'm coming to the stage. Um, especially if you were me and my generation, the drill teams and people who wind up doing security for most time as far kind, we vividly remember the minister seeing like floating down the Capitol steps and standing behind a bulletproof glass and making us feel protected. That of course we know he's divinely protected, but also the bulletproof glass. What was your contribution to that uh, Maymay March and how did how was the glass and the bulletproof and all that set up? Thank you, sir. Well, brother, Ooh. humbly saying again. Allah uses individuals for his purpose. Yes, sir. You know, <clears throat> you never know what you're born for until you start doing what you're born for. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have a calling. Uh, the enemy has a, a character that comes on TV that everybody calls uh, MacGyver. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Never forget Brother Patrick, student minister Patrick out of uh, Florida. He started calling me, he said, you're the black MacGyver, man. <laughs> you're the black MacGyver because, you know, brother, I have a mindset, brother. If he made it, I can fix it. If he can, if he can, if he made it, I can figure it out. That's yeah. my mentality. Yes, sir. So by Allah's grace, brother, um, we're in Los Angeles and the Million Man conversation came up uh, that we would need a form of barrier between the people that would um, deflect any immediate thing coming, because you know, a lot takes precedence. Yes, sir. But we gotta be found doing our part. Um, it came to, to me that would I be able to make something that could be a deflection? So I went to work in and what Allah had blessed me to come up with was, was the thought of how to make some shields that would be erected in a point of where um, they would be able to slow down or deflect or give a time period for the security team to move in a direction of whatever they needed to do. Beautiful. And in that process, I put together a, a structure a metal structure and then formulated the plastic sheets here in, in Los Angeles, um, all in one of our little warehouses. And um, by Allah's grace, my brother Prince, my brother Omar were participants in helping me uh, put this unit together out here. You know, um, my father always has the saying, he tells all his grandchildren what he has about pretty close to 61, 62 grandchildren, great-grandchildren. 
Mm-hmm. And um, he always tells each and every one of them at that particular time, which we pass that lineage down, you're a genius. Even though we know that genius is a very small term for a black man that's God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But that's just a, a baby spoon to put in their mouth to get them going. Designing that shield, a lot put it in my in my mind. I can't take credit for anything to come from my thought. But we put it together, created it up, flew into DC, went in front of the miles at that particular time. We checked our material to make sure our our shield wasn't compromised. We erected it and um took made sure it was going to function the way it should have functioned. And because of the fact that everyone that was the first Million Man March, that I could just remember some of the journeys and some of the said, man, they're going to drop bombs on all you niggas and kill all you. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, man, you can hear some of the crazy stuff people used to say, man, y'all niggas is crazy. All y'all going to be one time, that's going to be a one big old fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But a lot blessed us to be in line, brother, the huge line that was needed to get after the stage was built, we were in line uh, with our truck, with the equipment, with uh, our uh, our shield. And um, we were able to get on the, the, the stage and begin to erect it, put it together, built it right there. And to this day, I remember just sitting and looking that I was a part of that by a lost permission. And then, um, as you already know, we have the Million Man March anniversary, which was the following year in front of the UN. Mm, mm. And uh, <clears throat> the development of a different type of shield had to be made because that time period between the Million Man March, you know, the, 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 the mindset of certain people and threat level went up on a whole different level. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And... You know, again, saying that, you know, my parents and they used to say a long time, we ain't spooky. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. And everything is real. Yes, sir. You know, uh, we must be found doing the best we can to protect God's messenger well, I like that. with our small amounts of whatever we can contribute to. Yes, sir. So I was asked again to come from Los Angeles. They flew me in on a Thursday, brother. A lot of my witness. They flew me in on a Thursday into New York. And um, brother Eric uh, from New York, um, a few other brothers from New York, brother Hezekiah, and uh, a lot of the brothers that were of that city. We went to work, brother. We went and hit the steel mill on Friday morning. We had so much steel, the brother's van was sagging. <laughs> we ordered a special grade of material um, that most people had no knowledge that they made it, mm. but but it it was you know it was able to be gotten within a couple of days, and we ordered it. Um, we had all that delivered to us on a Saturday, which in almost a twenty-four hour period, we went to work in a brother's backyard. We started working Friday evening, and we worked practically continuously. I may have gotten 10 hours from Friday to the end of the Million Man March on that Monday morning of rest. Yeah. Because what we did was we constructed a total welding. We had a team, brother, about 30 brothers. Right. All these things, I have pictures yes, of sir. the various things because I'm a historical person to take a lot of pictures. My family said I take a lot of pictures and never share them. <laughs> <laughs> brother, pictures are worth a thousand words that they say, brother, and sure. pictures give details that you can't see, that your eye will, will not see. So uh, I never forget, brother, that your father was sent over by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan because this was a little different one. We had sheets of uh, this material that weighed pretty much to almost a thousand pounds. Mm-hmm. And there were several sheets above the head. But the way Allah brought it through my mind to build, um, it was a self-supporting structure as a pyramid would be. Mm, mm. Go ahead, brother. Um, 
your uh your father and um it was a brother it was an engineer i forget his name brother and but i have a picture of him as he was out looking he's a structural engineer yes sir yes sir he came out there and looked at it. he said brother i couldn't have did a better structural engineering design than myself no, but we worked, brother, morning, noon, and night. We had brothers cutting metal, brothers filing and sanding metal, and different brothers doing just different aspects of the of the project. Um, working morning, noon, and night to make a 16 foot by eight foot glass cathedral that sat on top of the stage that had air conditioning in it. Um, that we had to construct and make um, evac locations within the structure. Yes, sir. Go ahead, brother. So all of that was a part of our detail that um, my brothers finally got in and they were able to help me, you know, my biological brothers. Yes, sir. Yes, you know, sir. Brother Prince, uh, brother Prince, many might not might not know, brother Prince is um, uh, one of the investigators, the acting investigators in this part of this, the, the country now. Mm -hmm. um, my brother Omar, you know, and I thank Omar for my mother. And I say this on the podcast because guess what, brother? But for Omar, I wouldn't have the privilege of having my mother as long as we had her because Omar is like me in the construction and everywhere else and all the other details that you see me a part of. Yes, sir. He was like that with my mother mm, mm, mm. Crazy in, in securing her. And when she was secure and taking care of brother, it allowed the rest of us family members to be at peace. So I thank a lot for my brother Omar. And I like to just give praise due to a lot for him. But as I'm saying, we built this shield and to see the minister come uh, and stand in something that God allowed me to build without any engineering skills, but building skills. And to see the third man in line from God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's be clear. The third man in line from God himself. Yes, sir. Step in something and give me the privilege to secure him along with others. But you don't know how that makes a brother like myself feel not as an I burger or chief, because anytime I say me, it's us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have done it without the us that came and made me before myself. Yes, sir. So I thank Allah. But those were my experiences, brother, with the Million Man March. Praise be to Allah. Beautiful. And thank you all for your comments. My sister Miriam says, that's God working behind the scenes. Thank you for this history and for your hard work. Praise be to Allah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, sister. We come in. We come in. Uh, for the best year, uh, Michael Jackson, to me, like many others, has you know been our favorite entertainer coming up. Uh, by the time when I was in high school, it was more like the wacko jacko people attacking him. He wasn't the same. He was still beloved, but it was a lot of hate and stuff on him. So when we would look at um, the news and see you, see the FOI protecting him, that meant a lot to us because we like we love him, but we know everybody didn't love him. How was yes, it? Sir. From doing security from one man who was hated by the entire world <laughs> to yes, another sir. man who seemed to be hated at that time by a lot of people. How was that? Well, brother, we always taught to go to the root because if you don't go to the root, brother, again, I go back to those three men, Master Farad Muhammad, Yambi Elijah Muhammad, and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. But for them, we, the brothers who wear the bow tie, straight tie, pin, the pale, you know, we can do a little karate here and there and do <laughs> this little whole post and, you know, do a salute and all that. Yes, sir. But for them three, clean shave, nice cut hair, yes, sir. speaking grammatically correct, yes, sir, no, sir, about haste. <laughs> but for them three, yes, sir. we wouldn't see not any of those individuals who say that they're entertainers. Yes, sir. Entertaining who? The thing is, they were privileged to have us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. By yes. those three men's permission. Yes, sir. So we started way back, way before him. Because mm -hmm. there were many other brothers 
And I'll tell you, word is bound to allow my mind. I remember the days, brother, when we used to call him, I think we used to call him um, Box, not Box. Uh, what did we call him? He worked for Eddie Murphy. Ah, oh, man, I can't remember his name, but he started working for Eddie Murphy. And then we had brothers who started working for um, Magic Johnson, which I had a little small glitch when moving around with him. Then we started working for Wesley Snipe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All these entertainers of significance were using the men of the FY because guess what? It was less liability. Because you know why? The Ambulaj Muhammad taught us through the FOI what proper handling of people. So we didn't need to carry no weapons to disarm or dissolve an issue. People saw the nice, clean, intelligent young brother telling you right this way. It wasn't a doubt. It didn't need a red light to go. You just move that way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I had to put my hands on it. Just mere speaking courtesy and respect to them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that development coming along that I stood on, because I stood on some brothers. I just didn't jump in on top of a platform like that of something of that magnitude. Yes, sir. Yes, I sir. was standing on other brothers that were examples before me. Praise be to Allah. But the example that they got was us doing it for our leading teacher. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, brother, brother, it all started, brother. I want to say, brother, in the early 2000s, forgive me if I don't know the exact year, but I want to say early 2003, yes, sir, 2004, yes, sir. I'm sitting in, in LA and I get a call from Brother Captain Halim. He said, brother, I got a, a detail for an exclusive amount of certain men. Mm -hmm. And you know, when we get those details, we know to pack our bag, get ready to move, don't ask no questions. Yes, sir, yes, sir. We moved out, brother. We went into a city of Las Vegas. Mind you, I was living in Las Vegas, but I was in Los Angeles. I lived in Las Vegas. Mm. Come to find, brother, that we were moving there. Uh, we were moving out to go to a hotel where Mr. Jackson was. Mm, mm. Um, I want to be factual. I want to say that I believe that uh, Mr. Jackson's, in some form, himself personally, if not, uh, I would probably say me being among him, he probably made that call personally, knowing either through uh, uh, the Supreme Captain, Brother Mustafa, or uh, our beloved brother, his uh, uh, brother Joshua. Yes, sir. Uh, he made communication with them, and we wound up going there with Brother Leonard, and I do believe, if, if a lot, please forgive me if I if if I'm in, if I'm not correct, but I do believe the minister did come. The oh. minister, we all came into Vegas, uh, in, in in the city of Henderson at a particular hotel, uh, where Mr. Jackson had paid for the whole floor. He bought every room on the floor. Yes, we sir. wasn't staying in the room, but he just took the whole floor because you know he riding skate uh, the scooters and things up and down the hall. He that was just him. Yes, you sir. know, yes, he sir. still had his little exclusive individuals, his cousins and uh, individuals. And I like to pause one second. You know, brother, brother Bashir, this is the first time by Allah's grace on any social media, mm. any live broadcast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have ever spoke about this man. Mm. I've had hundreds and thousands of dollars offered to me prior to this. Mm. to speak on his behalf uh, in his absence. And there was money offered, but to me, money ain't, every, money ain't everything when you have a relationship and a greater responsibility mm. Crazy to Allah. of the dignity and respect of someone's trust in you. When one gives you their trust, you don't break that trust. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You take that to the grave with you. Yes, sir. And what I'm saying is not something that is, I would say I have to take to my grave, but I'm merely giving you the little small highlights. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because that was one unique brother. But us getting apart, brother, we took the brother, and that's the first time I ever seen a super detail. <laughs> man, we had a super detail, man. We had buses, cars, all kind of things, man, moving from Vegas back to Los Angeles, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
man, we moved, we moved him from, from Las Vegas to Los Angeles with a, a full cold-blooded FOI detail. Mm-hmm. You know, point cars, trail cars, extended trails, ex- uh, I mean, a, a extended points, yes, you know, uh, hitting the ramps, moving, making sure that nothing was going to interfere with the movement of that detail. We yes, finally sir. get into Los Angeles at a hotel in, in the uh, outskirts of the end of Beverly Hills. We stay in a hotel. So Mr. Jackson, then, you know, he, he the person, he'll stay sit for a moment, but he has to have space. And that <laughs> hotel that we were in in Los Angeles was not sufficient. It was just, I mean, it's, it was way inadequate. It's almost like in comparison, it's almost like giving an ant some space uh, that a, a lion some space that an ant, it, 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 it just was, the, the space was just crunched on him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we began to get um, uh, 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 a point where Brother Leonard, Brother Joshua, and um, uh, his, his, uh, his uh, the sister, which was Mrs. Grace, she handled his children and himself wanted to go look for houses. And as your other um, uh, uh, interviewee, brother Joshua Farrakhan, whom I love, yes, you sir. know, um, chose me to drive. So we begin to drive to various houses with uh, that brother Leonard and the staff had chosen, Miss Grace, brother Joshua, and Mr. Jackson. Just us, just us four, no, no, no detail, no mm. trail, no point, none of that. Mm, mm. We would just maneuver around in a very discreet way. Some of these houses, brother, were so high up in the cliffs and places, brother, man, I mean, you got maybe, maybe two, two 12 or 13 inches, brother, on the cliff, going up one way up, one way down, mm, you mm. know, and uh, just to view some of these houses. And uh, Mr. Jackson, um, was very enthusiastic about the way your brother had been trained by the teaching to yes, maneuver sir. that vehicle up those hills without um, disturbing the mover, you know, the client. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And um, we wound up picking a house in Beverly Hills, and I'm cutting cutting it short. I'm chopping a lot of stuff out. Yes, sir. We wound up finding a house in Beverly Hills. Um, it was next door to uh, what's that brother's name? It'll come on my name. Uh, the the it was another entertainer because the minister actually went to his house, but we got the house right next door to him. Luther Vandross. Okay, okay, okay. Now he got the house right next to door to Luther Vandross. So, brother, this house was a thirty-two thousand square foot house. Man. It had. Let's see. I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It had an eight-car uh, eight car garage, um, big fountain in front. You talking about Jolly Green giant doors. I'm talking the doors were like about 13 feet high. Mm, 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 mm. And uh, you would walk in this massive foyer with double staircases going up around to the, to the second level. But this was a three-level house that had a main floor second floor and a basement area. We go in there, we look at the house, he chooses that house. Mm, mm. So he gets ready to move over into the house. Mind you, Mr. Jackson was a very observant individual. He watched people, he checked their spirits out, you know, he listens to how you talk. He told, I believe, be it by Brother Joshua, he picked me and Brother Wayne. I believe you interviewed Brother Wayne too. Yes, I did. He picked Brother Wayne to run the exterior of the house with, with, with the cars and being in charge of those areas. But he chose me to be inside the house and you know look over the security aspect of his children while we were on the interior. Yes, sir. Now, of course, I believe Brother Lil Sharif, Brother Captain William from Compton, they were all running the detail on with Brother Captain Haleen. Uh, our brother, Captain Salim, if you remember Brother Captain Salim from Arizona. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They all were, they were ones that did the movement of getting him from court, et cetera. 
But the biggest thing was when he asked me to stay in the house, that was a little different than just coming to work on a nine to five, you know, come and punch the clock and I'm going to be up in here. He asked me to stay in the house. So this house was so cold, it had a, a whole apartment that was downstairs in the basement. There was a one bedroom, little kitchenette and a living sitting area, which I took as my living area. And um, outside that area was a giant ballroom. Mm. I want to probably say it had to be maybe a 5,000 square foot ballroom area. Mm. It was, you could put 20 cars in there. That's how big it was. Mm. But then right next to that, there was a, um, a bowling alley. Um, an arcade. And then adjacent to that was a swimming pool, an inside swimming pool. Mm -hmm. All this was under the bottom level floor. Yes, sir. But the swimming pool could be seen through the dining room. The main dining room table had a glass floor. So anyone sitting at the dining room table, you could see the swimming pool down below. It yes, was sir. one of the awesome. I have that. I have the, the real estate catalog for that property to this day. But me as a little boy coming out of, I say boy, coming out of Jordan down where we had brick walls, crank open windows. Yes, I'm like, man, look at this. I mean, I'm living up in a spot like this, man, 22 years later. But yes. by Lord's grace, you know, my job led to me looking over the children and taking care of things of a MacGyver type way, things that needed to be done. One day he had some chair booths that he wanted to put up. They were these are statues. Chair booths were some statues of three children playing together, but it was made out of bronze, and they must have weighed about fifteen hundred to two thousand pounds, a little bit over a ton. He never had bought it, but never could have a house big enough to put it up. So we made a, a box for it to sit on, a nice eloquent box, and we. We made a special thing, which we call the contraption, a giant metal A-frame, because I moved about 32 statues of Mr. Jackson from Neverland's ranch all the way down to that home, just mm -hmm. and put in different locations around the pool, various locations. We put all these huge statues that he had purchased from around the world um, as he was trying to make it as a home. And the reason why he wanted to make that his home as he was looking in the process, I believe, either to purchase it um, is because his he was violated at Neverland. And yeah. everybody's kind of like know the history of it, where the Caucasians came in there and did some things that were very rudely to him. And the accusations, as you said, he was being called Jacko the Wacko. Okay. And people were dogging him, you know? Um, you know, my mother has made me a type of man that you, you know people's characters and you can see the character of, of someone. No no one's the best nor but Allah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, you know, you're not the all I see, but you get a pretty much in general idea of what a man's like yes, sir. when you're living with him. And I lived with him. Wow. So you can see the guests that came and different visitors, you know, people who meant him good, Johnny Cochran, when Johnny Cochran came, and this was three or four months before Johnny Cochran passed away, transitioned back to Allah. Yes, sir. You know, all this was in that home. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan visited him in that home. But putting that home together and living in that home with him led to that portion of, of, of him. And, you know, he's itchy. He has to travel. so. He wanted to leave and go to Colorado. He left and went to Colorado Spring and uh, brother um, Captain William from Compton and brother Sharif out of your city, Atlanta. Yes, you know, uh, Sharif. Yes, sir. We, we call him Sharif One. Your father, your father's brother, Abdul Sharif, student yes, minister, but Sharif One was the first officer in California at that time. His yes, little brother, we call Sharif Two. Yes, sir. You know, so uh, they moved him around and did whatnot, but he got some kind of some kind of unhappiness about the service and the way brother 
were functioning around him. And, you know, he's a personality man. Yes, sir. He, um, he kept sending signals back. I'm coming back to California, Brother Wayne, Brother Bash. I need y'all to go to Hawaii with me. So he came and dipped back into California. And mind you, Brother Leonard was en route to LA too at the same time. Um, we all rendezvous back in California. Then we wound up all getting into Hawaii. Just, that's just where his movement was. We stayed in Hawaii for about two weeks. Mm, mm. He decided that he wanted to stay there another two more weeks. But he sent that original crew that was with him back home and he kept myself and Brother Wayne mm, mm. there along with Brother Leonard and a few other brothers. Um, and you know, there are things that you learn, brother, as I'm talking to your viewers, or those who think it's a great thing to deal with these entertainers and run around carrying they bags. <laughs> brother, I had a family, I had children. There were things I missed with my children. It all brings about certain separations in your life with your family. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Without our family, there's no nation. Yes, sir. I learned it firsthand. Mm, mm, mm. And as you said, sacrifice of the children, it's a different sacrifice for your nation because they're going to eventually be the beneficiaries of this nation. But when you're doing it for the entertainers, for their security, for the securing of their money, and their futuristic of their thoughts and their dream of life, that ain't for the nation of our Islam, our yeah. people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you got to have a certain kind of mind, you know. So that sacrifice came apart. And, 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 and I look back as I heard one of the other speakers say, man, you don't, you know, you look back, I, hindsight, I, I wouldn't do that today. Mm, mm, mm. You can't pay me to sacrifice my family, to be up under you all the time while your child is running around and we building custom birthday cakes and, and opening doors and this is, you're serving, we're servers, but man, my life and my death is all for a lot. And you certainly get blindsided when you work with them entertainers. Well, that, that dollar work with you and the money begin the fat, the fame and notoriety and running around. I've been many places to meet many people because of meeting Mr. Jackson, traveling with Mr. Jackson, living in different countries with Mr. Jackson. Mm, mm. Um, my whole get up with him was don't be crowding yourself and being afraid of some of something that Allah giving you. My thought was to try to let him be a real person. Mm, mm. Man, you don't know what it's like for a man to not to be able to walk across the street and get a bag of potato chips without a thousand people. I experienced it firsthand in London, Ireland, Japan. Being able to go and just see the people tearing at the man like, I mean, you know, you got to control how somebody reach and grab this man's hand and pull his wrist off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But in this process of going and living with Mr. Jackson, brother, um, he has been given um, some very unfavorable things in his life because he began to wake up. He was already awake. I should say he was tranquilized during some of this time period because when people get in your ear and you're not totally on God's plane of a direction, people can influence your movement. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's how the nation became a part of his security. Many of his family disagreed with the nation because they were Jehovah Witnesses. But we ran simultaneously in certain aspects of belief of conduct, if you understand what I'm saying. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So it was easy for us to maneuver with him. But as we began to maneuver around the different cities, different countries, um, people would say things about him, 
we would, of course, have to cover the areas of where that is his private life. It ain't nobody's business. Mm, mm. Got a right to be a human and sit and do what he want to do. Nobody watches you when you scratch your nose. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, when you you scratching your neck and somebody want to figure how many fingers did you scratch your neck with? <laughs> yes, sir. You know, this man was a genius of music that he heard the notes. He, he you know, outside of me understanding the teachings of Islam is mathematics and mathematics is Islam, and you can prove it in an unlimited amount of time. Well, you yes. see the movie called Third a close encounter of the third kind. Yes, sir. Yes, you sir. saw how the enemy was communicating with the mother plane. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Through yes. music. Yes, sir. Why do you think when they sent Voyager One yes, into sir. space, they put a golden capsuled album with music on it? Yes, Not sir. words, because we know English and language is a bastard language. That's right. You teach him. You teach him. Yes, sir. But when you take music, everyone can harmonize with music. Like our beloved minister left us a music box. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For yes. the absence of his time to soul uh, to console us in our mindset as we travel in the beginning of what we're dealing with right now. Yes, sir. So the journey with Mr. Jackson was a very excruciating, sacrificing, knowledgeable beneficial uh, journey in my life that the reputation that Allah blessed me with because out of all of the law that could have been broken, brother, you have to remain an FOI in the nation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You cannot break down and be other than yourself and what you've been taught. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because the eyes are on you. Your client's on you. You have to deliver the service of a reflection of who you represent, which is the nation and your leader and teacher. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can't get your hand caught in the cookie jar. The beautiful women that you run upon, I had a wife. No, None no. of that subduction would get to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you say you represent this. Yes, right. That's right. And that's why Allah blessed me to be successful. Because I'm going to give you some words of what the minister told me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. At the closing of what of, of Mr. Jackson. Because of many places we took him. I said, brother, you ain't got to be putting no wigs and putting all that stuff on, man. Man, brother, let me let me show you how we're going to move you. Mm, mm. He always loved. He said, man, what's the diamond, brother Bashir? What's the diamond? <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we we learned how to put, move him in a in a soft diamond with an extended point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I said, brother, read this paper. Move. He read the paper. We move and go in the movie theater. Brother, we would go places, brother. And these are things and some of the things that brother I will talk about later on down the road. Cause brother, I was under, uh, as we all were under. Um, contract of not saying certain things. I'm beyond that, but there are things that this that will stay with me. But there are things, brother, that I would love to just tell people, brother, we we would buy the whole movie theater, every seat in the movie theater. You yes, see. And we'd be in there with the security team, five of us, and him and his three children and maybe a guest or two. And we watching a movie that's funny. And it's just us in the whole entire freaking theater laughing. <laughs> I said, this don't make no sense, man. Yes, sir. I said, Mr. Jackson, I said, a part of the movie experience is going into the movie and listening and with some stuff, I'm going to say it in the proper without baby language, with yes, some sir. stuff that's funny, you hear the whole theater laugh. That's a part of the joy of entertainment. So, brother, we set it up to a point, brother, where we start moving a team where we would secure the interior of a theater. We secure the interior of the theater because he was a charitable man that most people didn't even know. We paid for all the tickets and the thing, and people that watched the movie didn't even know. We had paid yeah. for it. 
mm. and pay for their concession stand. Mm. But we would secure the interior of the theater, bring him inside. He was sitting there watching the movie. Everybody would be laughing because it was funny. And before the credits would begin to roll, we pull him out and we move our detail. Mm. But we had the theater, part of the agreement was one, we're going to pay for the, every seat. We wouldn't care if it was vacant or not. But they would have an usher there and would give people their refund ticket for another theater. And if they had a, 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 a concession ticket where they bought some, 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 uh, some things from the concession, then they would get that refund. Basically, so like, beautiful, beautiful. So that brother contributed to that. So we did that many a times, brother. He was a very charitable brother. Man, Christmas time come. You know, man, we we know about, you know, didn't know Santa Claus come to his spot because he always kept all the fireplaces burning, man. you That was one thing you did. You turned the fireplace off, you got fired. You <laughs> hear me? Yes, sir, yes, sir. We had five fireplaces in that mansion. And if you turn one off, you got fired. Mm -hmm. Ain't no, I'm mean, like, like really, Mr. Jackson? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. But he loved them burning of the fireplace. So we knew it wasn't no Santa Claus coming down, no, no chimneys. But man, this man <clears throat> would give me money. I'm not going to announce the amounts, but every day that had a band on it and a band and would just send me out with lists. And some of the believers here who did maybe watching and viewing know I took them on shopping with me because some of the stuff he wanted was for, for, for women. And I just didn't have the taste to buy a pair of shoes yes, or a purse yes, or sir. a particular perfume or something. And I would take the sisters and I would bless them for helping me pick. You pick pick these five and you pick one for yourself. Yes, sir. You know, that's your commission or your 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 blessing for helping me in an area that I'm not an expert at. So by Allah's grace, we did that every every Christmas, you know? Yeah. Um, times when I went to go purchase, he was a DVD lover. I wanna yeah. try to crunch this down, brother. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Is that when he sent me to a place, brother, to buy DVDs, we bought on the average of three to four hundred or five hundred dollars worth of DVDs at a time. At a time, you say. At a time, and that when DVDs were like three, four dollars a shot. Uh, we would go in a, I never forget the store up on Venice, man, and I had damn near a small U-Haul truck to take all of the DVDs. Allah is my witness. I went upstairs to pay for the. The, the stuff that we had bought, I looked up on the wall and I saw a picture of a monkey with Michael Jackson's face on it. Mm, mm. Mind you, I had money with a band on it. Mm, mm. And the bill was enough for that band and a half. Mm, mm, mm. I'm getting ready to look at the man. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. He said, what's wrong, sir? I said, Who's that? Up there. He said, oh, that's Michael Jackson. He made a big joke about it. I said, oh, man, I can't spend that money here. He said, what? I said, no, sir, I can't spend that money. I can't, I can't spend a man's money that you're making mockery of and you're going to benefit from. I had him disload the truck and I left. Mm. The man damn it practically bad. I said, no, man, you don't never know who's coming in your store. That's right. But I will not. I was a buffer of the truth of not letting you take advantage of a man who paid a price for you to make mockery of my brother. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. So been those occasions, brother. Times, brother, where we flew over to Japan and they wanted to bring him to a military honor. All this stuff is on YouTube. You can see where Mr. Jackson pinned one of the brothers over there. But, you know, a lot blessed me and him and allowed us to fly because he was um, had a, this thing about flying. You know, the, some of us older people know about Mr. T. He didn't like to fly on airplane. Mr. Jackson didn't like to fly on plane. Mm, mm, mm. I would always have to have the aeronautics of the plane, the weight capacity, because I believe it's the, 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 the music musician, Aaliyah, her plane situation 
Yes, sir. We yes, always sir. had to know the weight of the plane, the passenger, the fuel capacity, our distance, what would be the weather pattern going. I had to have all of that prior to us even getting on the plane, but because my dad taught me about aeronautics, yes, sir. And yes, me sir. being me being a candidate of the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado, having a nomination from Vice President Mondale. Mm, mm. I didn't go because a lot had something better for me. I knew about aeronautics and planes. I was able to check the airplanes in a way that I knew if they were something looked out of place. Okay, okay, yes sir. So it gave us that little extra comfort because man, flying over the Atlantic Ocean, or flying over the Pacific Ocean, man, that's like five, six, seven, eight, nine hours, brother. Yes, sir. And I'm looking at I'm looking at the scale as we flying every different way. I say, damn, we right in the middle of the ocean, man. Yeah. Something happened. But I said the prayer that I believe we got from Mother Tarnetta told us. She said the messengers say a Muslim would never transition in an airplane crash, but you would say a prayer on takeoff and don't worry about nothing else and say a prayer on landing. Now, I don't know, there are probably many who can bear witness to that, but that's what I've been doing ever since. Praise be to Allah. But that, that was a long, stretchy, rubbery prayer, brother, on them, on them planes, brother, <laughs> on, a, on them private jets, brother. I <laughs> mean, you know, and I like the last least say, brother, that I want to thank you and thank your father, because the day that our brother, brother James Brown transitioned yes, to Allah. Yes, sir. I got a call from, from Charles Bobbitt at two o'clock in the morning. I had to get up out of my bed, drive over. And Mr. Jackson knew it had to be pretty urgent for me to wake him up at 2.30 AM in the morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I was able, to, I, I, I told him by Allah's grace about Mr. Mr. Jackson. Uh, I'll hold back on the expressions of what he did but if anyone know that that was mr jackson's idol yes sir yes sir dance and everything you can only imagine what happened to that brother upon telling him that he told me after after an hour or so he said brother bashir get a charter plane for in the morning we'll fly out right away and I'm going to run back real fast before I went, uh, uh, real fast before I even flew overseas, really quickly if I can. I know this is a long interview, brother, but I, know, I, have, to get it, I have to get it out because we're dealing in a very serious time. I teach survival. I've been teaching it for 45 years. Yes, sir. And a lot of believers who know me, I'm a guru with this. I'm one that I care less what the enemy thinks because Allah is my God. In the person, Master Prophet Muhammad, he can only do to me what is his wish. But um, I try to teach a lot of the believers through the many, many, many years that have been to my classes. We're living in a very, very great and dreadful time. Yes, sir. You got some of the most wicked Caucasian living and breathing right in front of your face that are maneuvering pieces in place to outright murder us all wow, as the bible say if he is still at the man and call with that man on the coming of the lord i shall surely put them to death wow, wow. well right now they trying to get rid of the evidence yes sir. <laughs> yes, sir. yes sir yes sir i don't want to be a part of the get rid of the evidence i want to hang around and see him take that mad dive when them bombs get dropped on him and drilling one mile down exploding putting out the gases and causing this whole country from corner to corner to burn like the bible say you will stand from a distance and see her burn yes sir but brother that's I'm, i i get too excited but that's what they've done to us as people man but your father man i called your father while i called your father and i said man knowing your father's experience this is the type of business you got to call brothers who you know that you can send and do. Yes, sir. And yes, I don't want to leave my brothers from London. Because when I first made my trip into London, I didn't know nothing about international travel. Yes, sir. 
my eyes was like a deer in the middle of the road, man, when I came into that dang airport, man, looking at me and walking around with AK-47s and I didn't know nothing, man. But by Allah's grace, the Supreme Captain, our Supreme Captain, Brother Mustafa, Brother Sultan, and Brother Rashad gave me some advice how to handle. Brother Rashad said, brother, just cook and cut it, brother. You know what to do. Yeah, yeah, brother, yeah. Same thing we do, we just set it up over there. So, brother, that's what I did, brother, in that journey to London. But coming over there, brother, to back, like they say, back at the ranch. Yes, sir, um, yes, sir. With your father. Man, brother, I called your father. We gave him the logistics of the hotel, the airport, and all that was going to happen with the itinerary. Yes, all sir. this was happening within about six or seven hours, brother, of me mm -hmm. getting that call. Um, we set all that up. And brother, the receiving party from your father. Yes, sir. Was impeccable. Praise be to Allah. And I thank Allah because we made sure that the brothers were taken care of because as my journey as I had the money with the bands, I'm not gonna give Mr. Simmons at the mall at, at the at the um at the mall some money for some perfume and some shoes and not pay my brother yes, sir. That's for right. delivering a service. That's right. So we did that, brother. And by Allah's grace, we did that in London with the brothers in London, uh, the student captain out there, the student minister, brother. I was so lonely sometime in, in Ireland, man. When I was living in Ireland with him, I was so lonely, man. I used to just pay. I had a, I paid for the captain and the the student minister, man, just come over and give me some company. <laughs> you, know, you know, but by Allah's grace, brother, it was a journey with Mr. Jackson. This does not, what I'm going to say, reflect on any of the brothers that took up on the detail after me. Mind you, Brother Fahim, Brother Michael Amir. Yes, sir. And all the brothers that took place after my uh, departure, because the enemy had a plan to get rid of me because they knew how I ran things on the security detail. And there's no reflection on them. But I shouldn't say, but I should say, however, they called me at two o'clock in the morning, told me to turn in my key. Well, because I know and know how my brother moves and how people can influence him in his ear. I packed, I always lived out of a suitcase. For all the years that I lived with him, I always had my suitcase on set and ready. Yeah, yeah. I just dropped my keys and my wallet and my thing and pushed it. Got back to LA and called them at eight o'clock in the morning, told them I was back in my city. Yeah, yeah. However, um, I was dismissed from that detail on some false allegations. You know, one of my brothers from the New York coast, you know, uh, he know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. He thought my man has been a long time, man. Give it up. <laughs> Hello, that's one of them, brother uh, Josh. That's one of them little side jokes that brother noted. Yes, sir. When I was dismissed, they said I had took some money uh, that we had returned from Japan, and uh, it was crazy, man, because of the fact that a lot know. Mr. Jackson and what he did, and it was all accounted for in his expenditures of shipping and et cetera, and paying bills, you know. Um, he, he's bought me many gifts that I thank a lot for, you know. Um, one last little story, I was in London, brother. One of his friends, uh, one of the king's wives, uh, we were moving Mr. Jackson, one of these big old castles, and we lived in some of the little houses way down the block. I'm talking about blocks away from the castle. Yeah. You know, brother, y'all think that thing would be a joke sometime, but that coming to America thing, Eddie Murphy and them made would be yes, some sir. real stuff, man. Yes, sir. The queen came walking with a whole entourage. They didn't have the flowers, but they was moving just like that with her. Yes, sir. And um, brother Captain Naeem from uh, Moss 97, California was one of my point men. He said, brother Bashir, the queen's coming. Mm, mm, mm. And when she came, I had just laid down from putting Mr. Jackson to rest, which was about 7, 30, 8 o'clock. He's an all-nighter. And then he'll, he'll sleep for about three or four hours in the morning till about 11 a.m. and he'll get up and start all over. 
she came and she said, brother, you were in London last time and you left. She said, but I wanted to give you this gift because I'm not a person who take a lot of gift from the client's friends that I wanted to make sure that they knew that I was not being influenced by anything of gifts and giving yes. to me yes. Yes, to compromise yes. my relationship with the client. I left the time she tried to give me the gift last time. So she she walked to our house <laughs> and she, she brought it. She had a bag with a gold M on it. Looked in and she said, brother, you left this gift the last time, but I wanted to give it to you this time. And um, I told her, thank you. You know, you bow in, in, in a humbling way to the queen, returned, took the bag, threw it on the bed, went to sleep. By the time I got back to America and found out, looked at the watch, did a research on the watch, lady gave me a $30,000 watch. Mm, mm. I was thankful to Allah. And I say again, bet for the honorable Elijah Muhammad's teaching and the honorable Mr. Louis Farr, I would never had none of this privilege. But for my mother raising me with a tender, loving heart, yes, sir, my yes, father, sir. intelligence, rigidness, all that in combination, I wouldn't have had some of the ability that I have or be before your podcast today, your viewers saying anything on the behalf as a Muslim. A Muslim should be ready to get up and teach the truth at any given time yeah. to awaken the dead. That's right. That's right. And you know, most people who do jokes, you know, they start off with jokes about themselves, their mama, their daddy, their cousin, their sister, their niece. And it'd be some funny stuff about how they be, you know, how your cousin eat his rice. <laughs> Yes, it's the same way with raising the dead because yes. we are all the same. Y'all know about eating butter sandwiches. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you know about all of that. <laughs> so we all know about men sharing one blanket, yes, wearing Mitch Mac socks to school sometime when you ain't got the, the total color. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. You start with truth, brother, and you take that out of yourself and raise the dead. But you do that, brother, even with entertainment. Because me being an example, brother. As a Muslim, follow the Ambulaya Muhammad through the guise of Minister Farrakhan. Him being blessed to come see us a many times was in Florida one time. And the minister was down, we were in my we were in Orlando and the minister was in Miami. Man, I was praying to see the minister. And this is on, if you remember the the, the lecture, the crucifixion of Michael Jackson. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And the minister made those statements. Those statements he made was when he came to see Michael Jackson in Orlando in a mm. private little setting. Mm. When all the guns were pointed at him, meaning the guns of political, politics, Jews, the record labels and stuff. I knew that these enemies had did what they did when the day it was announced, 7 Eleven had a, 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 a a display of Pepsi Cola with him on the can. And we knew how he, Mr. Jackson felt about Pepsi Cola. Mm -hmm. He owned the Beatles, the total catalog. Wow, wow, wow. The catalog, the Beatles re-released all of their songs a week, a month after. So mm -hmm. we know what the plot was ultimately because they said man ain't got no value while he's living, but his value increases tenfold when he's deceased. I remember walking with him one day and we had the catalog because we carried with us everywhere we moved. You know, privilege, brother. I thank your uh, listening audience and your viewing audience to be patient. Brother Bashir is very long-winded. Thank you, sir. We learned a lot. Allah has blessed me to be full and I don't want to be over taking your time, but I like to just narrow it down to say that when I was moved off of that detail, Things got out of hand with the doctor. The money became more greater to him than our brother's life. And um, we lost our brother through foolishness and greed. I'll take that weight. Because that's the truth, and that's God in me, and my God got me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because when 
verified that because one day I was going down in the crate. Most of us on the security team know what that means. I'm going down. And I got my little portion of the announcement. He looked at me the great best year. He said, maybe Michael Jackson would still be here if you've been there. Mm. So when the messenger of God, reminder, and I miss today, tells me that the brother who we named the bear of good news, this ain't an eye burger, but this is to your viewing audience. This was a brother that bear witness and carried the word of God to a man who loved the minister. He ain't the only one who loved the minister. You yeah. got many brothers to this day working on details with brothers such as uh, 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 Puffy, su uh, such as, um, um, what's my other brother um, in New York? What's my brother in New York's name? The uh, one over Def Jams. Russell Simmons, Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons. We still got a lot of brothers still maneuvering in and out. Steve Harvey that have benefited from brothers who brought this supreme security. It ain't yes, just sir. no ordinary cops and robbers, Bonnie and Clyde uh, individual. These are brothers who are operating in the 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 the, the spears of seventy six quintillion miles of the universe mindset. Wow, we wow. moving quicker and thinking faster than the enemy could even think. That's right. That's right. But you get benefits over if it's some dead presidents. So I tell the viewing eyes, yes. You look at Brother Bashir, but it wasn't for, for the Ahmed Elijah Muhammad and his teachings through the minister that gave me that position. So it ain't me. I may say I, but it ain't me. I may say I is Allah, because he's the I. I wouldn't even have a mumbling word to say. I wouldn't even have the legacy that I have pushing my little skateboard if it wouldn't be for the bean soup and whole wheat muffin that my mother gave me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I like to close that little part, brother, by Michael Jackson. And I thank a lot for the privilege of knowing him. I thank a lot that I had that experience. And I pray to Allah that as this being the first time that I've ever said anything about that brother on public social media. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I pray that those who take it of the good, you can take it of the good, and those who uh, may be having their ears on the ground looking for something to sift out of it. Yes, sir, yes, sir. May Allah do with you what he needs to do to you, because I mean nothing but good by Allah's grace to give your viewing audience something that means so much to them. That brother said, before he let that devil get hold of his, his cattle, he would throw it in the ocean. We were driving past the Santa Monica, a, a Pacific Ocean on, uh, in the Santa Monica area. And, you know, they wish to do that to many. They can't do it to ours because God got him. Wow, when you go back to that question 45 minutes ago, spiritual, I've seen them planes, and those who went to the Million Man March saw that plane. Yes, sir. Allah, 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 Allah. Beautiful. Many of us who say that we believe in this, this is the time where your faith better kick in. Yes, sir. Because your faith better turn into some real Chuck beef. Because now you got to stand on your own two feet and bear witness that there's no God but Allah in a person, Master Fra Muhammad. The humble Elijah Muhammad is his messenger, and the humble Mr. Louis Farrakhan is the last divine messenger in our midst. Because, like my mother said, when the messenger said that last fella leave, all hell was going to break loose. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And as we saw the minister tell us about the trumpet, Gable's trumpet falling out of his hand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. May Allah be pleased and bless us, brother, because. We must be prepared for what's to come in the next few days or so. So if it's anybody, brother, that I can answer a quick question, brother, yes, I'll sir. be welcome to answer, brother. We've been on this for quite a while. <laughs> um, I thank a lot that you've taken the time and your listening audience took the time. Um, back to you, brother. Praise be to God. Thank you very much for your honesty, transparency with us dealing with the man who I consider, like many, the greatest entertainer of all time. So I thank you for your sacrifice and uh, 
your service to him being a good brother. My sister said, your brother's keeper. Brother Janelle says, teeth, brother, I'll pay some to lie. Brother Victor P said, he loves them. My brother, Rash uh, sister, oh, my sister Val says, yes, indeed. My brother Rashad says, brother Bashir treated us with much respect at James Brown funeral. Mm -hmm. He showed us how FOI training is supreme all over other agencies. Appreciate mm -hmm. him for what he did. Thank you, brother Eric, uh, great, a great deal. Brother Frank Muhammad says, we appreciate your mountainous, your uh, mounting the witness stand and sharing this history. Oh, brother Frank says, the, the angelic realm, brother Errol, brother Earl, Errol, I hope this is how I say name, sir. He's showing love. Thank you, brother Bashir, for your divine sacrifice. Brother Michael, Sister Maria says, that's right. Sister Mimi says, teach. Brother Jacquez says, yes, sir. Bear witness, saw the plane to May March as well. And El Kamar Muhammad says, this is fire with a lot of fire emojis. Oh, and Brother DeMarco. So thank you, Brother DeMarco, for saying that as well. I mean, for showing love as well. Uh, brother Bashir, we don't want to hold you because we would, yeah. we, I can stay here all night talking to you, my brother. But, uh, oh, brother, you know, me and you, we throw them midnight on. We, we, we talk, me and you talk. And yeah. what I love about you, brother, uh, which some of your viewing audience has seen you, I knew your parents before you were born. Yes, sir. And your father taught me something, brother. And I'm telling your viewing audience, since it's my little soapbox to stand yes, on. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. About the little brother that we're looking at this interviewing me. Okay. That his father taught me. And that is, brother, that he is showing what his father taught me to do years ago when he came to LA teaching the FOI class. He said, brother, I take off that cat of the, the hat of the Supreme Captain. I put it on the hook when I come in my house. My wife is the captain in my house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, brother, have you ever reached down and tell your son I love you? Because some of us black men are so hard and rigid. We're not compassionate to our wives that we should be to let them see the God side, the balance in us. But we're yes, too busy rigid right between the general order and the drill command. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you are an example, brother, of your father's work, your smile, yes, your humbleness, and your patience, brother. Man, three years you have waited for this interview. I yes, apologize sir. for no, taking no, so long. No, no, but three is the number of a trial that we're in right now, brother. And it was time, brother. So I thank a lot and I appreciate you. And like I said, brother, there's further work to be done because there's so many more lines of detail with Mr. Jackson, the minister, and many other things that we have experienced. And you got many more people. And I, I would employ all of the believers who have some experience in this nation. Don't let, like my father said, someone else tell your story when you gone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let this brother get on his line, text him, brother, post up your number and let them get a part of your line of interview because there shouldn't be a day in this time with this coronavirus, as they say, take over you and you don't get your voice out in the public on the social media that you can download it on a chip, on a computer, that you got to give it to your generation down the line that's your voice, your words. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you, brother Josh. Thank you. I thank you for this opportunity. Thank May Allah you. bless you, your family, your mother, and your future children that you should have. You know, <laughs> you know, everybody call you, bro. You got so many uncles, boy. All you gotta do is just call an uncle or an uncle call. You know how we call a fruit call? You just call an uncle call, brother. And they got some issues coming. Praise me to Allah. Thank you very much. Brother, uh, brother uh Bashir, I have to ask one more question. Uh first yes, of all. Sir. My sister Miriam says, all, uh, Brother Brian says, Brother Bashir is the best trainer. So my sister Miriam says, All praise to Allah. Thank you, Mimi. Um, sister Naim says, All praise to Allah for you and brother Rash uh, my brother Rashad puts the heart. Uh, thank you. And thank you, Brother David Ali, for always showing love, sir. Brother Bashir, what would you like your legacy to be, sir? Well, brother, legacy is a big word. Yes, sir. Because legacy, us being taught by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan bringing L. Ron Hubbard to us, that if you don't know the definition of a word, you look it up. I didn't look it up, but legacy, 
from what I know is what are you to be remembered by in your passing or transition? Yes, sir. What would you like to leave behind? Yes, sir. Well, brother, I've been given a name. And the name I've been given by the messenger of God is the bearer of good news. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, brother, a bearer is someone who is carrying something and of good information. And it may not look like good information. It may sound negative. It may not seem beneficial, but I'm carrying it with experience, knowledge, and what Allah has blessed me out of just in general spirit. So I would love ones to just know that I was a giving brother to my nation as we're taught my life, my death is all for Allah bearing good news. Praise be to Allah. And what a beautiful legacy that is, sir. And brother Bashir, I just wanted to listen to the audience and view an audience to know that like my brother Rashad said, we were both on that Michael Jackson detail. Um, and any interaction we've ever had with you, you've been serious, but always caring and loving. And I've, I've got to you know meet one of your children on Facebook, not in person, but just via Facebook. Everybody yes, who always has positive things to say about you, Brother Bashir, my parents, yes, both which make sure I say it, send you the greetings, my siblings, we all yes, love you. Brother Bashir, I mean, your legacy, I, I believe, was when I, I'm posting a clip tomorrow of the LA Junior FOI, and one of your sons was, was supposed to be drilling world too. One, one somebody was drilling there, and um, the LA, especially the West Coast, the MTS, the, they all revere Brother Bashir. Everywhere you go, Brother Bashir is nothing but love. I thank oh, you. Yes, sir. I thank well, you. you. Well, you know, brother, that righteous competition, because you know, when you go look at the rebirth of a nation, that's your brother in there drilling with Brother Mallet. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't you know, know that. I'm a, I'm a, brother, I'm a five time champion holder of the West Coast, brother. <laughs> look, brother, I'm going to just take this, because I know that East Coast is on the line. But yes, you know, brother, see, Allah said the sun will rise from the West back to the East. Yes, sir. Brother, we just gave a preview of that in Detroit, the yes, Mecca of the Muslims today. So, you know, brother, when Allah take and move this whole negative issue away from us and we regain back, coming back to Savior's Day again, brother, you know, everybody can take, everybody can take note and, you know, put together what they want to put together. But uh, LA had to set the record straight, brother. And, you know, brother, it's not about us adults. I know y'all didn't see the junior, uh, <clears throat> you didn't see the, the senior FOI and you didn't see the senior, uh, the, the, the MGT. We just put the men, the military future backbones in front to just let the, everybody know what time it is. So by yeah. Allah's grace, yes, my son was um, was on front line. And, yeah. and as you saw that Caden call at the end, ain't nothing like an MGT, brother. That's right, that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All praise to do to Allah, brother. Love you. And I want to say, lastly, Sister Maria uh, Farrakhan, was a part of that detail also uh, with Mr. Jackson doing all the decor in his house and keeping all of the sisters. She ran um, the MGT that did all the the, the maintenance and uh, the house chores that were in the house. Sister Maria did all that. And I wanna thank her for her uh, beloved time and, and, and all the minister's children, man. You, brother, I've been privileged with Lewis, man. Boy, Lewis is something else, man. Yes, sir. Brother yes, sir. Joshua, you know, the minister family is, has went through a horrific journey of sacrifice of their father for yes, us yes, to have this ability to talk to you. For them, for everyone that's viewing, to sit back and look at us talk. The minister's children, grandchildren, yes, sir. nothing's perfect for him. He's sacrificing, enduring a lot yes, sir. for us to enjoy him not being as attentive as he could be because of his duties to God first. And I just thank a lot for the privilege, brother, for this time, brother. So I just wanted to make sure that if I didn't mention anybody, it wasn't out, out of intention. Uh, I just tried to cut it down. I told brother only an hour and 15, an hour and 30 minutes. We've been on the thing for almost two hours uh, plus, but you can't take 60 years and put it. I mean, you look at the minister, 
60 plus some years and he's getting ready to have another day of celebration of life. Oh, praise is due to Allah. Yes, sir. Then we're privileged to be with him. All these years of sacrifice, his house, his cars, his money. Mother Khadija, I love Mother Khadija. Yes, sir. Absolutely. She's a mother of mothers. Yes, sir. You know, somebody was saying something about her and I kind of like framed her in the picture because somebody asked a question about only one of your podcasts is about uh, the children's village at yes, Savior's sir. Day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I said, Mother Khadija going to be a mother all the time. And Mother Mother Maryam, which the minister main Mas Maryam, yes, sir. because yes, sir. it's the birth chamber of rearing children. Yes, sir. Yes, mother. Sir. Don't think about us older brothers and older MGT. She always think about the babies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I see that as Mother Khadija, Mother Mary. <laughs> you know, yeah. she's always looking out after the baby. Thank you, brother. Thank you, sir. And thank you all for watching. And inshallah, we have another great interview tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum.